na baadaye ya mchango wa kutafuta hela za kujenga miundo misingi inayohitajika. Hii ni kama makao ya mapadri wazee na wakongwe, yani Clergy Home, nyumba ya mipango ya kiuchungaji Pastro Center, pamoja na nyumba ya askofu na mapadri wake Bishop's Residence. Ibada hii ya misa itafanyika Jumamosi tarehe tisa Machi kwenye uwanja wa Onoa. Pale ulipo na karibu kwa matangazo haya moja kwa moja ibada takatifu ya misa tukiwa kwenye Jimbo Katoliki la Wote Jimbo changa kabisa katika Afrika Mashariki na ya Kati ambapo Jimbo hili liliundwa hapo mwaka jana tarehe ya 22 mwezi wa saba sisemi kwa sauti lakini siku ya kuzaliwa kwangu siku ya mtakatifu Maria Magdalena ambapo baba mtakatifu aliona inafaa eneo hili la kaunti ya Makueni litangazwe kwa Jimbo na kamtangaza siku hiyo hiyo mwashamu wa askofu Paul Kariuki Njiru aliyekuwa askofu wa Jimbo la Embu kuwa askofu wa kwanza katika Jimbo hili la wote tuko kando ya katedrali ya mtakatifu Yosefu mfanyakazi eneo la uh, uh, wote mji wa wote katika uwanja wa michezo wa Unoa ambapo ibada takatifu ya misa inafanyika ambayo ina kiini chake kati ya wengi aliyohudhuria ni mmoja wa mapadre ambao wanahudumu katika eh, Jimbo hili atumwambie majina yake na ofisi yake na tujulishe kiini cha sherehe ya leo ibada ya misa. Karibu padre, tumsifu Yesu Kristo majina yako na ofisi yako kwenye jimbo la wote. Asante. Jina langu ni padre Frederick Kimoyo ambaye ndiye mwelekezi wa mipango ya kazi ya kitume, pastoral coordinator katika jimbo letu la wote. Na hii leo tunayo furaha sana kuwa karibisha wageni na wakristo kutoka sehemu zote za jimbo letu na pia nchi yetu katika sherehe za leo. Sherehe ya leo uh, padre inahusu nini? Inalenga nini na mnani ya gani? Asante sherehe ya leo hususan ni ibada ya misa ambayo ndani yake tutakuwa na harambe ama mchango. Tunataka kuchangisha pesa ili kusaidia kuanzisha miundo msingi ya jimbo letu. Unafahamu jimbo letu ni jipya. Hatuna makazi ya baba askofu, hatuna jumba la mipango ya kitume, hatuna jumba pia ambalo tunaweza uh, kuweka mikutano ama kufanyia mikutano ya kupangia mambo ya kitume. Mm Hivyo -hmm. basi mchango wa leo unaelekea kutengeneza tu miundo msingi ya jimbo jipya. Mm -hmm. Sijui katika eh, jimbo hili kuna kile ambacho umefanya ili wageni ambao umewaalika utatuambia ni kina nani waweze kuona bidii yenu kidogo ndio waweze kuendelea kuwachangia. Tumehusisha watu tofauti tofauti katika jimbo letu tumehusisha parokia tumehusisha wageni maalumu katika parokia tumehusisha pia wageni ambao ni wazaliwa wa jimbo letu ambao wanafanyia kazi kwingine Nairobi na miji mingine tumehusisha pia mapadri wenyewe wa jimbo hili nikigusia tu kwa mfano mapadri wa jimbo hili walijipa kiwango wakasema kila padri atoe mchango wake tukikadiria kuchanga milioni moja unusu tukafanikiwa kuchangisha milioni mbili nukta nne. Ya. Yeah. Uh, Wakristo wa, wa, wa jimbo hili ambao wanaishi kwingine wamejipa pia viwango kulingana na parokia. Utakuta wageni wa parokia fulani ama Wakristo wa parokia fulani ambao wanaishi Nairobi wamejipa kuchangisha 1500. Wengine wamejipa kiwango cha hadi milioni moja. Kwa hivyo tuna matumaini kwamba mambo yatakuwa mazuri. Mm. Tukiangalia katika uwanja huu tunaona dalili za kwamba kuna mgeni maalum ambaye si wa kawaida. Pengine unajua zaidi? Ah, tunayo furaha siku ya leo kwamba kiongozi wa nchi atajumuika nasi. E, Mheshimiwa Rais Dr. William Ruto anatarajiwa kuwasili hapa muda wote kutokea hivi sasa ndiye atakuwa mgeni wetu mkuu katika sherehe za leo. Mm. Na kati wachungaji ambao wanatarajiwa kuhudhuria ibada ya leo wakuu Tunayo furaha kuwa naye mhashamu kardinali mstaafu John Njue. Tunayo furaha ya kuwa naye askofu mkuu wa Jimbo Kula Nairobi, uh, mhashamu Philip Anyolo. Tunayo furaha pia kuwa na askofu wa Jimbo la Nyahururu, uh, ah Joseph Mbatia. Tunayo furaha pia tutajumuika naye askofu wa Jimbo la Machakos. Uh, mwadhama 
uh, Norman Kimo wa Mbua. Kawaida wa Kenya ni wakarimu, wa Kenya ni wakarimu popote pale walipo na pengine wakisikia kilio ama maombi ya askofu wanaweza kumsaidia. Yule mtu yuko kule Malindi, yuko kule Eldoret, yuko kule Mombasa na pengine ataguswa na mwaliko wa baba askofu aweze kuchangia, atawezaje kuchangia? Ah, uh, njia ambayo imefunguliwa ambapo Wakristo wanaweza kuchangia hata wakiwa mbali. Tuna ile tunaita pebel number ambayo umetolewa na Jimbo na natumahi wana Caption TV wataweza kuionyesha katika runinga ili waumini walioko mbali waweze kuchangia. Hmm. Kwa pengine kwa, kwa, kwa wale ambao wana, 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 wanajisukuma, wanajikokota pengine kutafuta e, namna ya kusaidia parokia zao, jimbo zao, ungewaambiaje wewe kama mchungaji ambaye unategemea pia katika ukarimu wa Wakristo? Ah, uh, ningewahimiza Wakristo kwamba ni jukumu letu kulisaidia kanisa jinsi tulivyotumwa katika ubatizo wetu tuwe sehemu moja ya uenezaji wa injili na hivyo basi ni jukumu la kila mkristo kuweza kuchangia katika kuendeleza kazi ya kitume katika parokia tukikumbuka kwamba kanisa katika Afrika linajitegemea awali tulitegemea misaada kutoka ngambo lakini kwa sasa imefahamika na kutambulika kwamba kanisa katika Afrika limejisimamia Hivyo ni wajibu wa Wakristo walioko katika makanisa ya Afrika waweze kuchangia wenyewe katika kuendeleza kanisa sehemu zao. Hmm. Neno la mwisho kwa waumini watazamaji wetu. Waumini na wahimiza eh, tuombe sherehe za leo na pia wale ambao hataweza kufika katika sherehe za leo tutumie namba ambayo inaonyesha katika runinga kuchangia hafla ya leo. Asante. Asante sana Mungu akubariki Padre Asante kwa uh, muda wako. Ni Padre F eh, Frederick ambaye ni mhudumu katika ofisi ya kichungaji mipango ya kichungaji kwenye hili jimbo la wote ambapo hii leo Kapuchin TV tunajiunga na mhashamu wa askofu Paul Kariuki Njiro ambaye ni askofu kwenye jimbo hili e, kidogo kukujulisha kuhusu jimbo hili la wote limezaliwa a, mwaka jana hata halijafikia siku yake ya, a, ama ama siku ya a, mwaka wa kwanza bado ni changa na hivyo basi katika hekima yake mchungaji huyo ameona inafaa aweze kuanzisha rasmi miundo msingi ya kushikilia Eh, huduma za kichungaji eh, jimbo la wote limejengwa na parokia 36 kumbuka kwamba limezaliwa na mama yake jimbo la Machakos na kwa kwa kwa, kwa kwa eneo lenyewe ni kubwa katika eneo kuliko jimbo mama jimbo la Machakos na linahudumiwa katika dekania tano ambazo kila dekania inajumlisha uh, parokia kadhaa na basi tunajikuta hapa kwamba ni kiti cha askofu maana yake umji huwa wote unashikilia uh, viti vitatu kama miji mingine mikuu kiti cha kanisa ama ecclesio seat mahali ambapo askofu anakaa kuna kiti cha serikali ambapo executive seat kuna gavana wa hapa Mutula Kilonzo Junior na pia kuna kiti cha hukumu kama kiti cha mahakama eh, judicial seat kutokana na kwamba kuna mahakama ambayo yuko hapa ni sifa ambazo tangu jadi zinaendana na hadhi ya uh, mji wa wote mji wa wote basi unajisifia sifa hizo tatu basi katika ibada takatifu ya misa ya leo masomo ni ya siku yenyewe jumamosi katika wiki ya tatu ya kwaresima ambapo somo la kwanza ni kutoka kitabu cha nabii Hosea sura ni ya sita mstari wa kwanza hadi wa sita zaburi ya mi eh, za hamsini na hamsini na moja unihurumie e eh, Mungu eh, zaburi ya kuomba msamaha Daudi tunakutana na Yesu katika injili kama ilivyoandikwa na mtakatifu Luka sura ya 18 mstari wa tisa hadi mstari wa kumi na, nne. na kati ya wengi ambapo baba uh, padre alie aliongea ametaja wale ambao wanatarajiwa kiongozi wa ibada atakuwa mhashamu askofu Philip Arnold Subira Anyolo Jimbo kuu la Nairobi kumbuka kwamba jimbo la wote limeangukia katika eneo la kichungaji eneo la uchungaji wa kanisa la Nairobi Metropolitan ambayo iko na jimbo sita a ah, jimbo saba kumradhi kuanzia jimbo la Kericho na Kuru Ngong Machakos ah, wote na Jimbo kuu la Nairobi na basi tunatarajia kama alivyosema mwenyewe mwadhama John Cardinal Njue pamoja na askofu Norman Wambua Kingo jirani na pamoja na mhashamu uh, Joseph Mbatia kutoka Jimbo la uh, Nyahururu na wageni wengine waalikwa kama alivyosema yeye ni kwamba anatarajiwa number one kiongozi wa taifa rais William 
Samoei Arapruto pamoja na magavana wanatarajiwa wengi kutokana na hali ya siasa unajua anapoenda rais wanakutanika pia maseneta wa bunge na wageni wengine wa kisiasa kati ya wakristu ambao wako hapa katika uwanja huu ni waumini wa jimbo hili wakubwa kwa wadogo e, wanaume wa katoliki wanawake wa katoliki waimbaji na watoto wote wakiungana na baba askofu Paul Kariuki Njiru katika weka uh, misingi ya jimbo hili na tunawatakia kila raheri baraka za Mwenyezi Mungu kati ya watakatifu wengi ambao kanisa lina waenzi siku ya leo tarehe ya tisa ya mwezi huu wa ni pamoja na mtakatifu Frances jina la kike ama Francesca wa Roma pamoja na mtakatifu Gregorio wa Nisa ndugu mdogo wa mtakatifu Basilio mkuu pamoja na mtakatifu Katarina wa Bologna na mtakatifu kijana Dominic Savio hao ni baadhi ya wale kanisa lina waenzi siku ya leo basi tunaendelea kusubiri kiongozi ama mgeni mheshimiwa rais mwenyewe ambapo akifika atapokelewa na mwenyeji wake askofu Paul Kariuki Njiru na baadaye ataweka uh, sahihi katika kitabu cha kumbukumbu kumbu, na baadaye basi atachukua nafasi yake hapo baadaye ndio misa inatarajiwa kuanza kwa msafara ama maandamano ya imani basi tunakukaribisha kwa matangazo haya kila mmoja wetu tukimshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwa yote ambayo ametutendea katika maisha yetu na tukimuomba sikilize sala zetu na tujalie tunayomuomba kwa imani kwa ajili ya maisha yetu na nchi yetu kumbuka kwamba tunaendelea kulia kutokana na hali ngumu ya maisha kama ujumbe wa maaskofu navyotufundisha katika kipindi hiki cha kwaresima uadilifu kwa taifa lenye haki na mojawapo ya hoja ambazo tunazijadili ni hali ngumu ya maisha tumuombe Mwenyezi Mungu atujalie afueni tutafute mbinu msingi ya kupunguza matumizi yasiyo 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 ya lazima ili uchumi wa nchi yetu uchumi wa familia uchumi wa kila mmoja uendelee kuinuka Mungu abariki kazi za mikono yetu na kazi zetu sote baada ya kitambulisho tutaanza ibada ya misa kama ilivyo ratibiwa kwa muda ambao baba askofu uh, kiongozi wa ibada atatoa idhini msafara wa ibada ya misa uanze kutoka uwanja wa Unoa kando ya katedrali jipya kabisa jimbo la wote ni ibada takatifu ya misa tunayojiandaa junge nasi kwa sala hii ya kanisa askofu Norman Kingo Mpendo muumini tumsifu Yesu Kristu ili kuweka misingi imara katika mambo ya kiuchungaji kwenye jimbo jipya la wote baba askofu mwashamu Paul Kariuki anakualika kwa ibada ya misa na baadaye ya mchango wa kutafuta hela za kujenga miundo misingi inayohitajika hii ni kama makao ya mapadri wazee na wakongwe yani clergy home nyumba ya mipango ya kiuchungaji pastro center pamoja na nyumba ya askofu na mapadri wake bishops residence Ibada hii ya misa itafanyika Jumamosi tarehe tisa Machi kwenye uwanja wa Unoa kando ya katedrali ya Mtakatifu Yosefu mfanyakazi wote mjini. Unaweza kumsindikiza baba askofu Karioki kwa chochote ulicho nacho kupitia kwa nambari Mpesa Payment Paybill Number 522522 Account Number 77 Kapuchin TV pia tutamsindikiza baba askofu na kukuletea ibada hii moja kwa moja kutoka wote kuanzia saa nne asubuhi kutoa ni moyo wala si utajiri sote tunaombwa tusaidie wote endelea kutazama Kapuchin TV kitambulisho katoliki <mulia> Kwa resma ni kipindi cha siku 40 kinachoanza na Jumatano ya majivu na kukamilika Alhamisi kuu. Kwenye kipindi hiki, Kanisa Katoliki lina nguzo nne zinazopewa kipaumbele katika maisha ya waumini ambayo ni kusali, kufanya kitubio, kufunga au kujinyima na kuboresha ukarimu. Kama njia moja ya kuboresha mafunzo zaidi kuhusu kipindi hiki, baraza la maaskofu Katoliki hapa nchini hutoa mwongozo maalum kila mwaka ambao una mada tofauti tofauti 
mwaka huu ujumbe mkuu kwa kampeni ya Kwaresma ni uadilifu kwa taifa lenye haki mada hii hugawanywa katika wiki tano na kila wiki ina tafakari yake ili kufahamisha zaidi kuhusu mada kuu ya mwongozo na kampeni ya Kwaresma runinga ya Capuchin inakuletea uchambuzi wa mada hiyo kila wiki kwenye makala ya dhamana ya haki na Arbe Bonaya Ni hapa tu kwenye runinga ya Capuchin kitambulisho chako katoliki. Yo 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 what's up my guys? Nyajeni was say the wait is finally over. Yeah and Capuchin TV brings you exciting news for the youth this year 2024 with a youth program called Form Ni Faith. <laughs> In this particular program we will be bringing you Bible trivias, we have discussions, we have talent show for those ones who love to showcase their talents like singing. I do what I can, what I can, what I can for my people. people not Modeling, oral narratives, spoken words. Hey, stop talking while I'm talking. Na that could you express at least me to express even if I can smile. It's only for a while. Yesu anakudai. That's why he accepted to die on the cross to remove your die, lemma and to give you a new die. Reaction. Catches on every Wednesday from 2 to 3 p.m. only at Capuchin TV. You can also get the repeats every Wednesday from 7 p.m. again only on Capuchin TV. And remember, if you would love us to come and cover your event, you can contact us on 0717-424-866. From New Faith, Faith, with your favorite host, Maureen Kimani. And I, Maggie Maina. Come, come on to, to enjoy, enjoy in Christ. Welcome to Tangaza University College, a multicultural community of holistic formation rooted in gospel values. Our academic programs include postgraduate, undergraduate degrees, diplomas and certificate courses. At Tangaza University College, we pride ourselves as the leading college in inclusivity with all our learning facilities attuned to accommodate students with special needs. Delight in an ambient environment, professional lecturers and world-class learning facilities including a spacious well-equipped library, a research center, science laboratories and a multimedia studio. Our full-time and part-time intakes are open in January, May and August every year. We also offer holiday-based programs in April, August and December. For more information about our courses and enrollment procedure, visit us along Langata South Road in Karen, Nairobi, or visit our website at www.tangaza.ac.ke. For remote inquiries, send an email to inquiries at tangaza.ac.ke, or call us on 0722204724. Or zero seven three three six eight five zero five nine. Enroll now for our competitive PhD, Masters, Bachelors, Diplomas, and Certificate courses. Tangaza University College, teaching minds, touching hearts, and transforming lives.
Kimenini Cottage Mission Hospital is a medical center of choice. The hospital offers 24-hour profound and holistic outpatient and inpatient services. We are equipped with modern medical facilities. Our services are patient-centered, delivered by friendly and compassionate staff. We are a NHIF accredited and we also accept covers from major insurance providers and schemes. We also have MediClaim cover which covers AON for the teachers and the CIC for both Kenya Prison Police Service and the National Police Service. Our ambulance services are available round the clock. Visit Kiminini Cottage Mission Hospital today. We are strategically located at Kiminini Town of Kitale Webuye Highway. For more information, contact us on 0723-644-555 or email us on Kiminini Hospital at yahoo.co.uk or visit our website at www.kimininicottagehospital.com. Kiminini Cottage Mission Hospital. We treat God heals. Tolea muhanga kwa kuwawezesha wa Kenya kupata fedha kwa urahisi ili kujenga rasilimali na kujiendeleza. Maisha ya jamii yamebadilika na kuimarika. Msingi wa jamii ni utulivu wa familia iliyoimarika. Ukiwa na mradi unayohitaji kuimarishwa, tuna utu. Karibu zungumze nasi. Caritas Microfinance Bank. Imarika, imarika we. kwa ibada ya misa. Waliotumwa pia kutoka majimbo mengine, tunaomba wawasilishe pia mchango wao wakati huu. Alamu endeni na ulika, tulilika nyo tuyitha na mwana wa kuisautua mbesa mbe wa mweni wandai ya arambia mbia. Kwa u, tuete musango witu wa mbe, misa itana mbia. Edhi wani cash, edhi wani check, kana mpesa, tunamakalani wa mbe, Uh, nime ukubanga ondo bailite na nikanara mbia umondi ito na kubikia ielelo ila mwisi tuithi ito tuitabuwa uh, na tuita angasewa tuenda umutethi isi asikabu wa ito kwa kadeo sisi nzao vee miyako mingi itebo na umondi tuenda kwa mbia na kwa kakalaji house kanaba ando asikabu uto na kuikala na adhe mbia lao kuithi wa kithu kuma na mwoku waba kubi na utahuba ando tuto na kuithi wa na mbomba no ilatwe tanzama uh, si tu si adiosis kubikia ju tumba ni yao yemani uh, na ni wailu kielelo ni kana kuma e, cha cha mondi cha mina kudela ni tu that tuna kukwata bandu nzama si unai cha wandetu yangai ito na kukoma ni ana kubangi ya mibango ya odhokomi tunaomba sote tunaombwa tuweze kuchangia kwa ukarimu kuhakikisha kwamba baada ya harambe ya leo miundo msingi ya jimbo itaweza kuanzishwa kumbuka hatuna makazi rasmi ya ma, makazi ya askofu na mapadri ambao wanahudumu karibu naye hatuna pia jumba ambalo viongozi wa kanisa wanaweza kujumuika na kupanga mipango hatuna jumba nyumba ambayo tunaweza kuwaweka mapadri ambao wamestaafu ama wana changamoto za kiafya harambe ya leo ni ya kutuwezesha kufikia hapo kwa basi tuchangie kwa ukarimu 
meza ya kupokea michango hiyo ipo karibu na madhabahu njoo mbele fanya linalostahili kabla ya ibada kuanza watawa wanaowasili nafasi yenu ya kukaa ipo mbele karibu na madhabahu jongeeni mbele tafadhali na wale wengine ambao bado wako nje tuharakishe tuingie katika uwanja kabla ya mgeni wetu rasmi kuingia ili tuanze ibada ya misa na tunatumia lango lililo karibu na shule ya msingi ya Unoa kwaya tupeperushieni wimbo ibada ya leo ni tofauti kidogo tuko katika mfungo wa kwaresma na hivyo basi zile shamra shamra ambazo huandamana na ibada zile shangwe ambazo huandamana na ibada za kikatoliki leo zimepunguzwa usishangae litaji kwa dansa si wako wapi usishangae uh, ngoma ziko wapi mfungo wa kwaresma unatushauri vingine dogo kujukumbusha tu atakapowasili kiongozi wa nchi sote tutasimama kumkaribisha tunaweza kusahau watu kwa sababu watu wanani naye kila wakati atakapowasili uh, tutasimama kumkaribisha kwa heshima kiongozi wetu wa taifa
Thank you Asante sana choir. Ningependa kuchukua fursa hii wa Kristo wenzangu kuwafahamisha kwamba tayari sasa tunaanza ibada ya misa. Nitaomba kuwakumbusha kwamba tunapoingia kwenye ibada ya misa let us minimize movements. Walio na kofia ambazo uh, si za kidini nitaomba kukumbuka kutoa ili tuweze kuingia kwenye ibada ya misa. Wanaohusika Kwa hivyo nirudie tena tunaanza ibada yetu ya misa. Wale ambao bado wamesimama kule nje nitaomba tuweze kuketi. Msafara wa mapadri wetu tutajiunga na wasi wakati wa wote. Jambo lingine nitaomba tudhibiti simu zetu. Let us manage our phones. Tuko na simu karibu elfu moja na wakati ibada ya misa inapoendelea si vizuri kuwa na ringtones zingine ambazo ni za maajabu. Let us manage our phones. Let us minimize our movements. Na sasa ibada yetu tutakuwa inaanza. Mtakuwa anapisha padri ambaye atatuelekeza katika ibada ya misa ili tuweze kuwa tayari. Nitaomba sasa wale ambao wako kwenye meza ya hesabu tuweze kujifunga kwanza ili tuweze kuingia kwenye ibada ya misa. Wale uko kwenye meza ya hesabu tutasimamisha kwanza. Na niombe kindly project the sadaka pay bill sound tech Tafadhali niweke pebil ya sadaka ili wa Kristo wale ambao wangependa kutoa sadaka wakati huo ukifika tutakumbuka kuwawekea hiyo namba. Kindly project that number na nimpishe sasa Padri ili aweze kutuelekeza tunapoanza ibada ya misa. Padri tafadhali Nawaomba mapadri walioko hapa tujumuike na maaskofu uh, kwa msafara wa kwanza ibada ya misa all the priests let us join the bishops for the entrance procession tutaanza ibada ya misa moja kwa moja wakati wa sadaka tutakumbushwa kwamba masanduku ya kutolea sadaka yatazungushwa katika viti mlimo ka hatutakuwa tukiamka na kupeleka sadaka zetu mbele sasa ya kumi ndembo tisa kukiletwa ndembo mbe undotika masanduku asuma ndembo nimekusaudiwa kwa ku ibelani tui uh, sausu wabika vile vile niwakumbushe wakati mgeni rasmi daktari William Samoe Ruto rais wetu atakapokuwa kijiunga nasi Tafadhali tukumbuke kwenye tuko kwenye ibada ya misa. Iwapo wanakoa ya watakuwa katika hali ya kuimba tuendelee na uimbaji wetu. Ikiwa askofu mkuu atakuwa kwenye jukua akiendelea na mahubiri, tukumbuke tuko kanisani. Ni vyema kumkaribisha lakini tukumbuke heshima zetu za kanisa, tusije tukasahau. Kwa hivyo wakati rais atakapojiunga nasi, iwapo atapata kwa wanakoa wakiimba tuendelee kuimba kwa sababu wanakuja kusifu nasi ataelekezwa kwa taratibu mahala pake pa kuketi na ibada ya misa iweze kuendelea karibu padri ili utuongoze kwa ya mtuongoze kwa wimbo wageni wetu bado wanaendelea kuwasili wageni wanaohudumu katika serikali yetu katika nyadhifa mbalimbali tutaanza ibada ya misa uh, wanapoendelea kuwasili ili tuweze kuokoa wakati katika shughuli ya leo na nitaomba tusimame ndae kuanza ibada yetu ya misa 
kitambua kuwasili kwa naibu wa jaji mkuu dada yetu Filomena Mwilu. Karibu sana naibu wa jaji mkuu. Mimi tunaweza kuketi kwa muda tuka linde ba nini uh, maskab mambe yao ni kake wanza ni nchi kongama tunaweza kuketi kwa muda.
Naomba tuketi kwa muda. Nitamwalika makamu wa askofu Vika General wa Jimbo la Wote ili aweze kumalika baba askofu wa Jimbo hili kuwakaribisha maaskofu na wageni waliojiunga nasi kwa ibada ya leo. on 30th September and we are rewarded with a new shepherd, right reverend Paul Kariukijiru, who is the host of the today's function. I therefore, and therefore it is my pleasure and with all humility to welcome him, to give us his welcoming nods. Karibu, my Lord Bishop. Madam Makadinari Wetu, John Joy, Askov Mukum Staffu, Wanji Bokura, Nairobi, Askofu Wanjimbo Katoreki, na Nairobi, by Pia Diems Mamisi, wa Metropolitan. Asi wetu wa njimbo la wote, njimbo la watu wote. Askofu Joseph Batia, Rafiki, wakaribu sana. Askofu wa njimbo Ranya Ururu. Fika generals who have been sent to represent bishops or archbishops, our deans, in a special way, our Fika General 
and other vicar generals. Mabadri, watao, wakike, wakiume, viongozi wetu, wa serikali na wakanisa na wakristu wote. Mungu ni muema. Mungu ni muema. Na kila wakati. Mwea ine muzeu. Na mabi indaonde. Kwa u. Baitu mwea zeu. Mwea zeu ingi. Siku ya leo kweli ni siku ya furaha. Tukijumuika bamoja. Kama jimbo la katoreki la wote pamoja na marabiki zetu. Ili ikasi ambayo mungu wa metubea ya kuunda jibo mbia na kuendeleza kasi ya wokovu. Na kutangasa ijiri tunayo frasi kuya leo kuwa tunanza murandu wa kwansa kama vile tuliambiwa wa kujenga karanji house. Ni jambo muhimu na nafuraha kuone ya kuwa tumekuja hili kasi tuweze kutimilisa pamoja. Tutaanza na ibanda ya misa, tukiongoswa na Askof Mkuu, Filipo Anyoro, ambaye diye msimamisi wetu wa Metropolitan of Nairobi. Na sisi tukio kitu kimoja, tuweze kuomba na pandaye kama vile tunajua raisi ya nakuja, tuweze kuingia sehemu ya pili ya kutoa mchango wetu. Kwa hifo na shukua na fasihi kumuarika kwa jia kibeke our main servant is Grace Filipo Anyoro ili ya tuongose kwa ipande ya misa mbayo ni muhimu sana. Makovi kwa ke mbura 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 ruveni. Wow. Asante sana your Grace welcome. Tusimame sote. Mwazi kwa jina la baba na la mwana na la roo mtakatifu. Amani iwe kwenu. Mwazi ndugu wapendwa. Tunaunganishwa katika ibada hii. Ibada hii ni tukio sio tu la jimbo la wote. Bali tukio la kanisa nzima katoliki. Ni tukio la kweza kusaidisha katika wenezaji wa injili. Tunaomba ya kwamba tunapojitole hapa siku ya leo tujitole katika hali ya roho zetu, hali ya mawazo yetu na hali ya nguvu zetu kumtolea Mungu tunachokipenda. Tumtolea Mungu anachokipenda pia ili katika kufanya huu hivyo yeye pia awe katika maisha yetu ambaye anajitambulisha kwa matendo yetu mazuri ya wengine. Na tunayafanya kwa wengine pia tunasherekea tukio hili wakati wa kwarezma ambamo tunamjali Mungu tukitegemea katika sala zetu na tunamjali Mungu anaishi katika maisha ya wengine tukitegemea pia kutoa sadaka na kuhudumia wenzetu na tunamjali Mungu pia tukiomba msamaha wa maisha ya dhambi zetu maisha ambayo yanakamilishwa kwa namna ya toba kuyo botu ombe tukisema na kungamia Mungu mwenyezi amen nimekosa mno kwa mawazo kwa maneno na kwa vitendo na kututumiza wajibu nimekosa mimi nimekosa mimi nimekosa sana ndio maana na kuomba Maria mwenye heri bikira daima malaika na watakatifu wote na ndugu zangu Niombeeni kwa Bwana Mungu wetu. Na Mungu mwenyezi atuhurumie, atusamee dhambi zetu na kutufikisha kwenye uzima wa milele.
Hatuombe E bwana unatujalia kuadhimisha kila mwaka kwa furaha kipindi cha kwarezma tunakuomba sana tuweze kuambatana na sakramenti ya kipasaka ili tupate kufurahiwa kikamilifu na matunda yake kwa njia ya bwana wetu Yesu Kristu mwanao anaishi na kutawala nawe katika umoja wa roho mtakatifu Mungu daima na milele kusikiliza neno la Mungu. Sea. Haya tumurudie Bwana kwa maana ameturarua. Naye atatuponya, ametupiga, naye atafunga njeraha zetu. Ataturudishia uzima baada ya siku mbili. Atatusimamisha baada ya siku tatu. Nasi tutaishi tena mbele yake. Nasi tutaendelea kumjua Bwana. Ujio wake ni hakika kama ule wa alfajiri. Anakuja kwetu akiwa mkarimu kama mfua. Kama manyunyu ya kwanza yanayowalanyisha udongo nitakutendea nini e Efraim nitakutendea nini e Yuda mapendo yenu ni kama wingu la asubuhi kama umande unaofutika mapema ndio maana nimewapiga ninyi kwa vinywa vya manabii nimewainua kwa maneno ya kinywa changu na hukumu yangu imetokea kama mwangaza kwa maana nataka huruma wala sio sadaka na kumjua Mungu kuliko kutolea sadaka za kuteketezwa neno la Bwana
Tusimame kwa shangilio. Somo la injili takatifu ilivyoandikwa na Luka. Wakati ule Yesu alinena na watu wanaojiona kuwa waadilifu na kuwadharau wengine. Akawaambia mfano huu. Watu wawili walipanda kwenda hekaluni kusali. Mmoja alikuwa farisayo na mwingine mtoza ushuru 
Farisayo akasimama akasali hivi moyoni mwake e, Mungu na kushukuru kwa sababu mimi sio kama watu wengine wanyang'anyi wasiofanya haki wavunja ndoa au kama huyo mtoza ushuru nafunga mara mbili kila juma na kutoa zaka moja ya kumi ya mapato yangu yote mtoza ushuru walisimama mbali wala hakuthubutu kuinua macho yake mbinguni bali alijipiga kifua akisema e Mungu uniwie radhi mimi mkosefu na waambieni huyu mtoza ushuru alishuka kwenda nyumbani hali amehesabiwa haki lakini yule mwingine hapana kwa maana kila ajikwezaye atashushwa lakini ajishushaye atakwezwa injili ya bwana Mungu ni mwema na kila wakati Mwia ine museu na mabi ndaonde kwa u Mwia seu Mwaliko waneno la mungu leo ni tumurudie buwana Asa wakati huu wa Kwaresima ni jambo muhimu sana kumrudia Bwana ambaye ametuambia anachotaka ni huruma na sio sadaka ni huruma Nabii Hosea ametumwa kwa wana wa Israeli na hili neno muhimu sana ya kuwa ni wakati wa kumrudia Bwana amesema haya tumrudie Bwana kwa na maana ameturarua naye atatubonya ametubiga naye atatufunga jeraha setu Huyo ni Mungu wa ajabu. Ni kama msasi. Mzazi mzuri anaadhibu mtoto si kuwa anamchukia bali anampenda. Nataka mtoto awe na jia safi, minendo safi. Maisha ambayo iko na maana. Amuadhibu ili aonyeshe ya kuwa anamchukia anamwadhibu ili amuonyeshe jia inayofaha na Mungu vile vile akiwa baba yetu akiwa mzazi wetu kama vile naambia amesema ya kuwa ameturarua naye atatuponya so god knows how to take care of us Mina kumbuka nikiwa kijana mdogo tukiwa nyumbani mtu akikosa 
baba alikuwa mkali anakuchaba kweli na nakwambia hata naweza kuua na nisae mwingine Yulia Rais you are not important si akua alikuwa ametuchukia lakini alikuwa akitaka tuwe na mienendo savi so god is so gentle at the same time so firm tuweze kumrudia bwana tuweze kufuata njia ambayo ni muhimu njia ya wokofu na b yosea pia alitumwa kwa wana wa israeli to exalt them to trust in the lord trust in the lord with all your heart and learn not your own understanding in all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths unaona kuwa kweli mungu anataka katika maisha yetu tuweze kumtegemea kwa mambo yote tuweze kumtegemea kwa mambo yote why because we are children of god simbo kate kisimu inatuvudishia kuwa mungu alituumba alituumba kwa nia fulani tuweze kumjua tuweze kumbenda tuweze kumtumikia na hatimaye tuweze kuenda kwake mungu akutuumba tuende kwa shetani tuende jehanam mtakatifu agustino anatuambia god created us for himself and our heart are restless until they rest in him what a wonderful thing to know that god takes care of us he loves us hata wakati tunaanguka dhambini mungu atuchukie anatupea mkono tuweze kumrudia because he is a loving father because he is a merciful father hata wakati wazazi wa kwanza waliingia katika dhambi Mungu akuwaondoa kabisa. Alikuwa na uwezo wa kusema andamu na hewa maisha yao ingeishia pale. Lakini aliamua kama hawa wamekosa kumtii kutakuwa na andamu mwingine atakayevudisha watu wangu namna ya kutii. Kwa hivyo Mungu hakutaka angamize ule ambaye aliumba kwa mfano wake the book of genesis we are told god created us in his own image and likeness kwa hivyo kutoka pale mwanzo ni kuwa mungu alitushirikisha umungu wake hebu tasama ule yako karibu na wewe mtasame vizuri can you ask him or her are you original or a photocopy <laughs> amekuambia nini original not a photocopy created by god in his own image and likeness you are a masterpiece of god and god cannot destroy and does not want to destroy that masterpiece dibo alitumia mwanai yesu kristo when that originality was destroyed that masterpiece God had to recreate it anew through his son Jesus Christ. Tuko hapa siku ya leo hata ingawa sio twastahili lakini Mungu ametuinua. Mungu ametuinua kwa sababu yeye ni Mungu anayetujari. Ni Mungu anataka tumurudie. Ni Mungu anayetaka tuwe pamoja naye. Ataki twende jehana itakuwa aibu tukienda jehanam wakati Mungu kweli amenjaribu vyovyote ili tuweze kumvikia kule mbinguni time is now to go back to the lord time is now not tomorrow imagine kama vile kwa hapa mnatuongoza vizuri nyimbo tunaisikia vizuri ya sikitualika tumurudie bwana tukiwa pale mbinguni tukiwa na bwana 
tukiwa tunafurahi sasa tutakuwa tukiimba songs of praise pamoja na maraika pale pengine hata tunaongea kidogo eh kwani ndugu yangu uko hapa eh so and so my dad my brother my sister my friend tukiwa pale mbinguni itakuwa furaha that is our destination lakini imagine tukiwa kwa shetani tukiwa sitakuwa aibu tukukute wewe pale kwa shetani na msipi wa CMA na suti ya CMA tukulise ya yeah. Mwandaleta wa CMA hata wewe uko kwa shetani sitakuwa aibu naye mwandaleta akiulizwa anasema wewe wacha kusema uone yule mama wa sinda bilio mama wa sinda bilio na kitamba ya sinda bilio unafanya nini kwa shetani si ni aibu naye mama wa sinda bilio akiulizwa nini anasema wacha kusema kwa nguvu catechist na vitabu vyake catechist mwalimu wa dini kwa shetani Sio ni aibu. Naye kadha giza kiuliza sasa wacha kusema mutawa umuoni pale sister. Kwa shetani sister msima unafanya nini? Ni aibu. Ni nini? Naye sisi anasema wacha kusema kwa nguvu. Pandiri wetu na mafasi yake umuoni pandiri kwa shetani. Hiyo itakuwa hai? aibu. Naye pandiri akiuliza anasema we wacha kusema kwa nguvu askovu na makovia yake umuone askovu na makovia kwa shetani anafanya nini hiyo itakuwa hii aibu ni wakati wa kumrudia bwana tumrudie bwana na njia gani na njia ya unyenyekevu na kristo ametuvudisha hayo katika ijili ya leo kwa njia ya unyenyekevu Tusiwe kama ule farisayo ambaye alienda kujigamba mbele ya Bwana. E Mungu na kushukuru kwa sababu mimi sio kama watu wengine wanyang'anyi. Wasiofanya haki, wavunja doa kama huyu mtosha ushuru. Arabu akaanza kusema vile anafanya nafunga mara mbili kila njuma natoa saka moja ya kumi na mabato yangu yote mambo ya kujiringa na wanjiringa wale wanajiringa ni wengi eh kwa hii dunia especially sisi watu wa Kenya that seed of humility atuna nakumbuka miaka iliyopita tulivudishwa namna ya kubeda inji yetu aliyekuwa government spokesperson akatuvudisha na jivunia kuwa mkenya tukaanza vizuri wande ya wiki mbili tatu mwezi mmoja tukaanza kupandilisha navumilia kuwa mkenya tukaendelea naumia kuwa mkenya sasa sijui tumevika wapi bandale ya kujifunia sasa tumevika kiwango hata navumilia eh naumia kuwa mke mkenya command zorova juzi tu kuna mtu ameenda kwa petrol station ameenda na gari pale yake ni ya diesel ameenda kwa pale inawekwa petrol hata kuzalimia uli attendant anamwambia njaza sasa na kama amesimama kwa petro si attendant alifikiria hii gari ni ya petro akavungua akawekewa petro na gari ni ya diesel kuvika pale imenoko sasa umefanya nini umeniwekea nini uone hii gari ni ya diesel usilimwambia njaza sasa huku mwambia njaza na nini wewe ulisema njaza mwingine ametoka nje ya Tanzania amevika kwa petrol station kaka namna gani mambo namna gani naomba mavuta akaambia hapa mavuta atuombi unalipa sasa unaomba sababu ule atena za mesoya kutoka asubuhi ni command njasa weka 500 weka 200 watu wa Kenya tumrudie bwana kwa unyenyekevu ukienda kwa nduka 
pandale ya una, nataka ugenda Tanzania watu wa Tanzania wanaguangalia huyu naye namna gani tusiwe kama ule mfarisayo ye yako jiangalia mbele ya Mungu akiwa kwa hekaru pandale ya kuomba Mungu amtakase Mungu hata msaidie awe mwema saidi alienda kuambia Mungu vile watu wale wengine ni wapaya na yeye sio kama wao na yeye anaambia Mungu yale yote anayotenda kusema mimi mbele yako Mungu nastahili I merit na Mungu you must recognize I merit Nasikia kuna mtu mmoja alikuwa tajiri alienda heaven Alikuwa mkalimu kutoa alikuwa akitoa dio Amejenga makanisa amesaidia wengi lakini kufuata jia za Mungu hakufuatilia sana Petro akamwambia mm kuna kitu unakosa we enda ungoje in purgatory Mungu ataamua ni lini akasema habana Petro angalia yale yote nimetenda mimi nimetoa pesa nimetoa fedha hata kanisa nimejenga hata kadendo nimejenga nisaidieni can something be done akaambiwa imeamuliwa uende pagatori uende ukangonje akasema najua saint frani ambaye nilimsaidia ule saint akaitwa akamuliza hakuna kitu yasafanyika uwezi kunisaidia akasema wacha niongee na Yesu tuone tutakusaidia namna gani akaeleza Yesu akauliza Yesu tuweza msaidia namna gani can we help him Yesu akasema ndio tuweza msaidia tutamsaidia na njia gani ile fedha yote aliyotoa murudishie sasa ukirudishia hiyo fedha na unaenda pagatori itakusaidia namna gani Mungu anataka tumurudie kwa njia ya kutubu dhambi zetu tukifuata mfano wa huu tax collector ambaye yeye alinyezekesha mbele ya Mungu you merite. akaona makosa yake hata hakudhubutu kuangalia heaven aliona makosa yake akapiga kifua akaomba msamaha sisi ni wakosefu sisi ni wakosefu tusijigambe vile kuwa sisi ni watakatifu sisi ni wakosefu ni wakati wa kumrudia bwana ni wakati wa kumrudia bwana kwa kutubu dhambi zetu ni wakati wa kumrudia bwana kwa kujinyima kwa kuvunga ni wakati wa kumrudia bwana kwa kuwasaidia watu wale wengine kwa njia ya unyenyekevu siku ya leo tumekunja hapa kwa nia hiyo tuweze kusaidia kanisa la wote kupiga hatua mbele ili kasi ya kitume iweze kuendelea mbele kasi ya ukombozi iweze kusaa matunda tuweze kuvika kwa Mungu tukiwa na imani dhabiti mtakatifu paulo anatukumbusa tukase mwendo mtakatifu paulo anatukumbusa tulinde imani na anatukumbusha ya kuwa lazima tubigane na yule muovu kwa jina la baba na la mwana na roho mtakatifu tutulie kwa muda kutafakari kuhusu neno la Mungu na mahubiri tuliyopokea kutoka kwa baba askofu na tusimame sasa kwa sala za waamini watakao tuongoza katika sala hizo wajongee mbele
kwa kukesha pamoja na Kristu na kwa juhudi zaidi Sala kwa ajili ya kanisa Ngai mwene utoni wonde tuikutungia mwea nundu wa kanisa ya kundeu tuivoya asamodeu waitu Francis maskabu maitu adembi ma sister na ma brother na onde makwete ilio siki vadukanio ndini wa kanisa veva waku modeu ama mulikile udukumine wo tuivoya diocese ya itu ya wote na askabu waitu ame mwiai meadhime na kutunenga omwe adhima aklisto onde na kutususia mumo waku kilai vinda mwiai utuiwe sala kwa ajili ya inchi yetu ya Kenya e baba Mungu twaiombea inchi yetu ya Kenya upende kuilinda na kutujalia baraka zako twaombea twa serikali yetu umoja ufanisi na hekima ya kuwaongoza watu wako bariki na kumlinda rais wetu na viongozi wote Bariki wananchi wote na kutujalia amani, upendo na ufanisi. E Bwana twakuomba. Prayer for families. God, our loving Father, we thank you for the gift of our families. We humbly ask you to bless our families by your grace. May your families be a source of your love and protection. May your blessed mother and Saint Joseph as spouse in the seed for our families. Lord, hear us. Mboya kwa ondo wa amuika na siana sito. Ngai mwene utonyi wonde adhima amuika maito. Ame mweai, kwa, kwa mumo waku, tedhia amuika maitu, kwewe tanana meteo ya setani na sindosio nde ila itona umalulutia. Maadhime mweai, mawea ni mo na masomo ni mo, adhima otaau, siana nini, Sia nekekeo ne chaku otakana yesu. Mwea hii otuewe. PMC sala kwa ajili ya waze na wagonja. E buwana toombea waze wote wajalie nema yako. Wape afya bora na tulizo litakalo kwako. Wape uvumilivu na uponyaji wa kweli wagonjwa wote. E buwana tuwa kuomba. Mazipia tumuombe mungu kwa ajili yetu sisi wenyewe. Ili hatimaye mungu amwishe majuto ya dhambi zetu katika mio yetu. E Bwana twakuomba. E Bwana utujalie sisi watu wako. Tukurudie kwa moyo wote. Ili lile tunalo dhubutu kuomba kwa sala zinazostahili tulipate kwa huruma yako kwa njia ya Kristu Bwana wetu. wakati wa matoleo wanachama wa ushirika wa wanaume wa Katoliki CMA watatuongoza katika zoezi hilo na nilivyotangaza mwanzoni ni kwamba hatutahitajika kuja mbele bali masanduku ya matoleo yatatembezwa katika viti tulimoketi kwa ajili ya hilo ili tuweze
pia kutumia muda mfupi iwezekanavyo waimbaji
za kuketi
sadaka yangu na ye ni kubalike na bwana mungu mwenyezi bwana apokee sadaka migononi mwako kuanziwa na utukufu wa jina lake na pia kwa mavaa yetu sisi na mavaa ya kanisa lake lote takatifu ewe mungu mwenye rehema tunakuomba utujadili haya matakatifu yako yanayotulisha daima tuyaadhimishe kwa heshima ya kweli na kuyapokea siku zote kwa moyo mwaminifu kwa njia ya Kristu bwana wetu amen bwana awe nanyi nawe roni mwako inwe ni mioyo tumeinua kwa bwana na tumshukuru bwana mungu wetu ni vema na haki kweli ni vema na haki tendo la kufana la kuleta wokovu tukushukuru wewe daima na popote e bwana baba ulia mtakatifu mungu mwenyezi wa milele wewe ulitaka sisi tukutolee shukrani kwa kujinyima ili kwa njia hiyo hata sisi wakosefu tuondolee ukaidi na kwa kuwapatia chakula wahitaji tufanywe waigaji wa ukarimu wako na kwa hiyo sisi pamoja na umati wa malaika tunakusifu na kutukuzwa kwa sauti moja tukusema bila mwisho na kweli umtakatifu na kila kiumbe kilichoumbwa nawe kuna kusifu kwa haki maana kwa njia ya mwanao bwana wetu Yesu Kristu na kwa uwezo tendaji wa roho mtakatifu unavitia uzima vitu vyote na kuvitakatifuza wala huwachi kwa kusanya watu kwako ili toka mawie ya jua hata machoyo yake dhabihu safi itolewe kwa jina lako basi e bwana tunakusii kwa unyenyekevu vipaji hivi ambavyo tumekutolea ili vitakaze upende kuvitakatifuza kwa roho huyo huyo ili viwe kwetu mwili na damu ya mwanao bwana wetu Yesu Kristu aliyetuamuru tuadhimishe mafumbo haya Maana yeye mwenyewe siku usiku ule alipotelewa alitoa mkate akikushukuru aliubariki akaumega akawapo wafuasi wake akisema twaeni mle nyote huu ndio mwili wangu utakaotolewa kwa ajili yenu
Vivyo hivyo baada ya kula akitoa kikombe na kushukuru alikibariki akawapo wafuasi wake akisema Tuaeni mnywe nyote hiki ndicho kikombe cha damu yangu damu ya agano jipya la milele itakayomwagika kwa ajili yenu na kwa ajili ya wengi kwa maondoleo ya dhambi fanyeni hivi kwa ukumbusho wangu Fumbo la ibani Ana turapo sakipo chake na na tunapoadhimisha ukumbusho wa mateso ya mwanao yaletayo uokovu pamoja na ufuko wake wa ajabu na kupaa kwake mbinguni na ninapotazamia ujio wake wa pili tunakutolea kwa shukrani sadaka hii iliyo hai na takatifu tunakuomba uyaangalie matoleo ya kanisa yako na kwa kumtambua yeye aliye kafara ambaye ulitaka kutulizwa kwa sadaka ya kifo chake Utujalie sisi tunaotiwa nguvu kwa mwili na damu ya mwanao na kujazwa na roho wake mtakatifu tupate kuwa mwili mmoja na roho moja katika Kristu. Yeye atufanya sisi tuwe kwako sandaka <coughs> timilifu ya milele ili tuweze kupata urithi pamoja na wateule wako kwanza kabisa pamoja na bikira maria mwenye heri mama wa mungu na mtakatifu yosefu mume wake huyo bikira na mitume wako wenye heri na mashahidi wako watukufu pamoja na watakatifu wote ambao tunategemea kupata kupa, kupata ndaima msaada wa maombezi ya yao mbele zako tunakuomba e bwana huyu aliye kafara na upatanisho wetu alete amani na wokovu duniani kote Upenda kuliimarisha katika imani na mapendo kanisa lako linalo safili hapa duniani pamoja na mtumishi wako baba mtakatifu wetu Francesco na askofu wetu Paul Kariuki pamoja na maaskofu wote wakilelo wote na watu wote unaowafanya kuwa taifa lako Usikilize kwa wema sala za jamaa hii leo ulioita hapa mbele yako. E baba ulie mtakatifu kwa huruma yako uwakusanya kwako wanao wote waliotawanyika popote duniani. <coughs> Uwapokee kwa wema katika ufalme wako ndugu zetu marehemu na wote walioaga dunia wakiwa wanakupendeza 
nasi tunatumaini kufika katika ufalme huo ili pamoja tushibishwe milele kwa utukufu wako kwa njia Kristo bwana wetu ambaye kwa njia yake unatujalia unaujalia ulimwengu mema yote kwa njia yake pamoja naye na ndani yake wewe Mungu Baba Mwenyezi katika umoja wa Roho Mtakatifu unapata heshima yote na utukufu milele na milele na kwa kuliti agiza le mwokozi wetu na tukifuata mafundisho yake ya kimungu tunadhubutu kusema baba yetu uliye mbinguni jina lako litukuzwe ufalme wako ufike utakale lifanyike duniani kama mbinguni utupe leo mkato wetu kila siku utusamee makosa yetu kama tunavyowasamea na sisi walio tukosea Zitie katika kisha uishi lakini tuopoe maovuni amen e bwana tunakuomba utuopoe katika maovu yote utujalie kwema amani maishani mwetu kuzudi kwa msaada wa huruma yako tuopolewe daima na dhambi wala tusifadhaishwe na jambo lolote tunapotumainia wele unatumaini lenye heri kwa ujio wa mwokozi wetu Yesu Kristu Tamirere. E bwana Yesu Kristu iliwaambia mitume wako amani na waachie ni amani yangu na wapa usizasame dhambi zetu ili tu imani ya kanisa lako na upende kulijalia amani na umoja kama yalivyo mapenzi yako unaishi na kutawala milele na milele amena amani ya bwana iwe daima nanyi mpeane amani
Tazama mwana kondo wa Mungu. Tazama yeye aondoaye dhambi za ulimwengu. Heri ya wote walialikwa kwenye karamu ya mwana kondo. Na mwili wa Kristo nilinde nipate uzima wa milele. Tuweza kuketi. Wakati wa kumunyo takatifu ni kwa wakatoliki tu na ambao wamejiandaa. Sasa Yesu si akosa ekalisti ndeu. No kwa akatoliki tu alama ya tikile tie na watakaribia mahali tulipo kwa ajili ya kumunyo takatifu kwa hivyo hatutahitajika kutembea kuja huku mbele naomba vijana wajue miavuli ili waweze kuandamana na mapadri watakao wakomunisha waumini I'm not 
Tifu inaporejeshwa katika tabanakulo Wimbo wa Ekaristi baki kimya kwa muda kutafakari fumbo tuliloadhimisha la Ekaristi takatifu na pia fumbo la neno la Mungu ambalo tumelishwa nalo katika ibada ya leo
atuombe e Mungu mwenyezi wa rehema tunakuomba sana utujalie ili haya matakatifu yako tunayotulisha daima ya tuadhimishe kwa heshima ya kweli na yatupokeeshe siku zote neema zako takatifu na ili katika uaminifu wetu tuweze kukutumikia kwa njia ya Kristu Bwana wetu kia baraka za mwisho kisha tutawaelekeza mbele zaidi Bwana awe nanyi awe awe mwako msaada wetu kwa jina la Bwana tuinamishe vichwa kwa baraka E Bwana uinue mkono wa msaada wako wa kimungu kuwalinda watu wako hawa walio mbele yako ili wakutafute kwa moyo wote na wasitahili kupata yale wanayokuombea kwa ibada kwa njia ya Kristu Bwana wetu na wabariki Mungu mwenyezi baba na mwana na roho mtakatifu
Anaendeni na amani baada yetu ya misa imekwisha. Shukrani sana kwaya. Pongezi kwa kutuongoza vizuri katika ibada ya leo. Niliwaambia kwamba kwaya inayotuongoza katika ibada ya leo ni muungano wa kwaya kutoka dekani ya hii tunayo kwaya kutoka hapa tulipo cathedral tunayo kwaya kutoka kadhonzweni tunayo kwaya kutoka kilala tunayo kwaya pia kutoka uh, chao hizo ziko katika parokia ya Kaumoni tunawapongeza sana na kuwashukuru kwa kutuongoza vizuri tunaingia moja kwa moja katika sehemu ya pili ya hafla ya leo tunafahamu kwamba tuna harambe leo mtamwalika baba askofu wa jimbo hili la wote mwadhama Paul Kariuki ili aweze kutupa nia ama lengo la kusanyiko la leo karibu baba askofu tumkaribishe kwa makofi Father, I'm going to pay to Kubwa Sana. I'm going Mimi ni askofu tu. Your Excellency, the President, Dr. Samuel Ruto, the Governor of Makueni, the hosts, Governor Waembu, Deputy Governors, Deputy Chief Justice, Honorable Firmina Muiru, Cabinet Secretaries, the Principal Secretaries, our centers, leaders of majority, leader of majority National Assembly, honorable members of Parliament, honorable MCS, distinguished guests, na watu wote wa Mungu. Mungu ni mwema na kila wakati God is good and all the time Mimi kama askofu sifanyi kasi peke yangu nafanya kasi na mapadri watawa wa kiume na wa kike na wa Kristo hasa viongozi wetu wa kanisa Pasi nafasi hii e, nitampea modalita wetu kwa njia kivubi sana atuambie tuko haba kufanya nini au modalita Mr Daniel Kisianga kwa dakika mbili tu Alafu tuende katika sehemu ya pili.
your eminency John Cantino Jue, your grace Archbishop Philip Agnolo, Archdiocese of Nairobi, your lordship Bishop Norman Iwambua Kingo, Catholic Diocese of Machiakos, your lordship Bishop Joseph Batia, Catholic Diocese of Nyaururu, your lordship Bishop Paolo Kariuki Jiru, Catholic Diocese of Wote, the clergy, religious men and women, leaders of other churches, Your Excellency, Honorable Dr. William Samuel Ruto, President of the Republic of Kenya and the Commander-in-Chief of the Defense Forces, your Excellencies, the Governors and the Deputy Governors present. Your Excellency, First Lady Makweni County, Anita Mutula, all elected leaders and the government officials, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, to Musifu Yesu Christo. To Musifu Yesu Christo Tena. My Lord Bishop, Paul Okariuki Jiru, I would like to thank you for coming up with the idea of uniting us together to start the first project of this diocese. The reason for today's Arambi is to fundraise money to build a clergy house which will host the bishop and the priests, a home for the elderly and the retired priests, and a place for meetings and a conference. This will be of great help in the work of evangelization. Since installation with effect from 30th September last year, His Lordship the Bishop has been living in the monastery, which is not his official residence. He has also been conducting meetings in the church tent. Your Lordship, in the Holy Book, of the Bible, Agai chapter 1, verse 8, God is directing us, go up into the mountains and bring down timber and build the house so that I may take pleasure in it and be honored. Today, we have brought the timber and other materials to build the Lord's house. The estimated cost of this initial project is Kenya shillings, 300 million. I therefore invite all of us to contribute generously to enable our Lord Bishop to establish the initial basic structures. I wish therefore to recognize the commendable work done by His Excellency, Honorable Mutula Kilonzo Jr. Governor Makueni County and the entire Makueni leadership for working hand in hand with the Catholic Diocese of Wote to host this great event. We assure you of our support in your leadership for the growth of our county. And now with great honor and humility, I wish to thank His Excellency Honorable Dr. William Samuel Ruto President of the Republic of Kenya and the Commander-in-Chief of the Defense Forces for coming to grace this historic event. Your Excellency, sir, your presence here as the father of the nation in the company of other leaders and government officials shows not only your love and the care for the people of Makueni, but also your support for the church. Nasote kwa pamoja wanainji wetu wa makueni na furaku tunasema karibu sana baba taifa na karibu tena katika ili njimbo mpya la wote. Hebu tupatie mtukufu rais makofi. Tumpatie makofi tena. May God bless us all. Makovi kwa muda lita wetu. Pasi kwa sasa sinamegine kwa sababu 
tumeambiwa ni ya kuwa hapa nitamwalika gavana wetu aweze kutuongoza kwa sehemu hiyo na kwa sababu tuwajua rahisi ya kuwa na mambo mengi ya kutuhudumia basi tuweze kufanya kazi hiyo kwa haraka na irekeso kuwa okay governor take over you tell us who is next makofi kwa governor wetu asante sana asante sana tujua umetusikiria vema na tuko pamoja asante thank you thank you bishop god is good and all the time ni mwatana ni mwatana kuona musumbe ni mwamanya kanisa eto kwaka ni mwamanya maofisi neto kwaka neto tunge angai mubea no mungu na ngama kobe ni mwela ona musumbe ni mwela omona na mwezelele thank you excellency the president of the republic of kenya dr william samoe ruto viongozi ambao mumekuja Tume, nimepatiwa nafasi ndogo sana ili tuharakishe tutoe pesa kwa sababu tumekuja kutoa pesa tiwa and to the church your eminence cardinal njue your grace philip philip anyolo lordship bishop kingo bishop paul karioki ambaye wewe ndio umedhibitisha kwamba watu wote wanaweza kuja wote umedhibitisha kwamba hapa unoa kunaweza kuja kweli we want to thank the church for bringing us the bishop paul karioki we we feel happy that through the church this ground called unoa this is blessed ground sisi watu wa siasa tulijaribu kujaza hapa tulishindwa huyu ameweza so quickly i will call uh Susan you will come but before that speaker could you come and recognize your group i have 16 members of county assembly here since in this is a must tumesema leo atufanye siasa thank you speaker asante sana mheshimiwa governor your eminence lordships your excellency the president of the republic of kenya Leaders present na waumini wote. Mungu ni mwema. Kila wakati nafasi yetu ni dogo. Your Eminence na Your Excellency kuatambulisha MCA viongozi walio hapa ambao wameandamana na waumini kutoka kila parish eneo county ya makueni yote. Tafadhali simama. Songea mbele. Songea mbele. Wachache. makofi jameni <laughs> kutoka upande huo aliye na huko ni MCA Abanas Manzu Chairperson Committee on Trade MCA wa Kwood huyo ni MCA popularly known as Mike wa Mbakie kanaweka na kwa Mike ni MCA kutoka Machakos County Assembly Iyo maneno ingine ni ambadae. Uyo mama yu excellence ya naitua Honorable Magdalene Nguluku wakalembe wa andile. Nominated o a chap chap part. Josephine Mwasia is a UDA nominated member of the county assembly. Elizabeth Kawembe Mutinda is a second term serving elected MCA kutoka Senda Parish the only. Honorable Jonathan Kimongo, Chairperson, Public Accounts Committee, second term serving MCA, Kutoka Mavindini Ward. Former personal assistant was Senator Makweni, Daniel Manzo, and it was Ben Tivu. The Chapa Aliona Siasa Apo, Akapanga Yaka, Akacha Mushmua Manzo. MCA was Bitin Ward, Kutoko Bitin Parish. MCA Sebastian 
Sebastian kutoka Kitise Kithuki Ward Chaperson Committee on Implementation. Huyu ndio amenona zaidi kwa mbunge yetu. Huyu ni MCA amechaguliwa kutoka Thanke Ward in Kibwezi Weeds East mpaka wetu na Taita Taveta na Chulu na Masai Kajado pande huu. Your Excellency, this is the only elected MCA kutoka Ngu Masumba Ward Daniel Musau Masika. Kutoka Ngu Ward. Pigeni makofi tafadhali. Orebu Felix Mateso is the area MCA for Ward and Zio Ward. Your host upper is a second term serving MCA, chairperson committee for lands and urban planning and development. A pioneer MCA in 2013, Akanda Leaf Kidogo, a Merudi Cosmas Kaleli, MCA wa Emali Mulala Ward on Chapcha Pat. Benedict Maneno is the MCA for Kathonzweni Ward, Uko Kathonzweni Parish, the chairperson committee on finance and socioeconomic planning. The pioneer leader of the majority of the county assembly of Makweni, Francis Munyao Mutuku Alias Muso. Alichaguliwa, Akatoka, Agarudi Tena, na Amerudi. And is a former councillor, ranking member, Zawi Kilili Kalamba Ward. And my Hebu Deputy Speaker, Francis Mwania, from Mutitu and A Ward, Chairperson Committee, Yakusmamia Kamati, na Utulivu Ulio Ambunge, Nichini Yawe Obana. Bas, huyu diyo kiongozi wa walio wengi, chama cha waipa kwa bunge ya makueni, MCA Watulimani Ward and it's a second term MCA Shadrach Chalo Mumo please take your seat Bishop ulitualika na tukasema tutakuja na ukaita wageni tumekuja kuharabisha ndio tuweze kufanya kazi ya Bwana pili unuruhusu mheshimiwa rais kwa niaba ya hao wachaguliwa ambao wamepigiwa kura na hao wananchi wanaombi moja tu Kwa sababu jana wewe yuzi umesema kwamba ile NADCO report itaweza kutekelezwa. Ikitekelezwa pale maitaji ya wodi yaangaliwe sana. It is the only in Makweni County where every ward is getting an allocation of 43 million under Mutula Kelonzo and as it has been the practice. I know there are counties where there are no allocations in ward. In that NADCO let us address the ward allocation fund for the members and the ward dio tuweza kupata ile maendeleo endelefu kutoka kule mashinani asateni sana na mungu awabariki thank you your excellency thank you thank you in our presence is my predecessor professor kibwana i thought i saw you professor kibwana yuko hapa deputy wako pia Yuko hapa. Adelina Mwau, Yuko hapa. I have seen uh, P.S. Terry is here. C.S. Mbaloka is here and many others. Professor. Kidogo tu. President of the Republic of Kenya, uh, Deputy Chief Justice, Cardinal Njue, uh, Archbishop, uh, Bishops, uh, Ministers, Cabinet Secretaries, that is, Permanent Secretaries, uh, MPs, and uh, all Waumini. Tumsifu Yesu. Tumsifu Tena. Uh, kwa sababu najua kwamba hakuna muda nitasema machache uh, mwanzo ni kusema ni asante kwa bishop Paul Kariuki kwa sababu ya kuja katika rambi hii uh, ku, kutengeneza rambi hii yetu na kualika mpaka rais wa nchi yetu na tena kusema uh, kwa bishop Kingo Yule tulikuwa e, tunafanya kazi pamoja na Wakristo wote uh, tukitaka diocese kwa hivyo pia na wewe tunakushukuru e, kwa sababu ya kazi hiyo nilipokuwa uh, governor. Uh, niseme tu uh, kwa machache 
uh, na, ninajua kwamba uh, hapa si mahali pa siasa ni sema hivi kwamba tumeona eh, Anshek na baba na sasa baba akiwa na Anshek sijui wale wengine labda wana minor Anshek wale wengine wako huko chini na huku kambani tumesema kwamba bomwe wetwe kila wakati tunasema tukae ngumu tukae ngumu zaidi na kwa hivyo lobbying ya maendeleo inakuwa sio rahisi because maendeleo lazima yawe lobbied kwa hivyo i think his excellency the president labda u consider having a direct handshake with the people of ukambani ndio kwa sababu when a financial year ends it has ended and this region kwa kweli kumekuwa hakuna maendeleo kutoka 1963 64 uh, financial year kwa hivyo hilo ni jambo mimi hata at, ikiwa nimekaa kando kidogo na mambo haya niliona nije kwa sababu ni diocese ulianza na tena kukueleza your excellency kwamba tafadhali ufanye hiyo na isipokuwa mbili amesema mambo ya nadco i believe maybe this is not the constitution moment i believe that apart from ibc and apart from the gender uh, rule and maybe some electoral reforms to make elections better uh, this is something maybe to be uh, considered kwa hivyo rais when you were awake kidogo nilisema hapa tumekuwa na shida ya kuwa wengine wakipata handshake sisi tunakaa kando sasa baba amepata handshake na wale wako nyuma sijui kama ni azimio ama ni sijui ni namna gani kwa hivyo ndio nilikuwa nimesema because of development uh, labda would saidie this region because it has really been in a bad way since independence usaidie uwe na direct handshake na hii region asanteni thank you Oh. Na, na nimesahau kusema this is a very pragmatic leader. Hata ikiwa kulikuwa na some teething problems lakini mambo ni sawa sawa. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you professor. That was unexpected. <laughs> I have uh, three four categories to go. Na tumeambiwa pia tuharakishe. Susan please come. We have two waziris nitawaita we have the DCJ nitakuita and then I will introduce you to the spouse and first lady of Magwane County I Mungu ni mwema na kila wakati wapi duru ya rais His Excellency the President of Republic of Kenya, William Samuel Ruto, His Excellency Governor of Makueni and other governors who may be present, Senator present, members of Parliament present, distinguished guests present, our clergy led by our bishop and other bishops in this particular country, I am very delighted. I am extremely delighted on behalf of myself and on behalf of the Makueni constituency people who I represent. I want to take this opportunity to welcome you, you my excellence, to Makueni in general. Watu wa Makueni ni watu wazuri sana. Watu wa karimu na wakati nilikuwa ninakaa hapo your excellency nilikumbuka ya kwamba our late leader Mulu Motesia used to say tunangarangara kama manyanya ya kimutwa demonstrating people of resilience despite whatever circumstances so we are very happy to host you we are very happy to have you around especially supporters in carrying out many activities and for this occasion support us in building the church of god and with me 
I have many members of parliament, Your Excellency, who have also accompanied you. We are very happy to have you around, and I would wish to call them so that they, you can see them, and at least we can have two of them represent us before I say a word. Members of parliament present. Naona wanaongopa njua, lakini kwa sababu siyo wengi sana, Your Excellency, Na unajua hao ndiyo watu wanashika ground mzuri. Ningeaomba tuwapatie one minute each. Waseme njina I love 20. Uh, thank you, Your Excellency. Uh, Bishop, thank you for uniting us. My name is Joshua Kimilu, member of parliament, Kaiti. Mweshmiwa rais, tunakua ripisha. Hapa makuweni. Na sisi tunakuambia ya kwamba ukiwa makuweni unjisikia ukiwa nyumbani. Mambo hile nataka kusema si mengi kwa sababu ya munda, lakini mweshmiwa rais. When you are doing your campaigns, kuna barabara ulipitia ya kutoka ukia kuenda uh, nunguni, ulipitia hapo na gari. Na ukatuaidi, utatuwekea rami. Tunakuomba, utuwekea rami mweshmiwa rais. Ile ingini mweshmiwa, kaiti constituency tulipropose, Saka ondi ya kaiti na tumeona sikipeano za makuweni atu kupata tunakuomba mweshimua rais utupatie Na sisi hapa makuweni tunajua atu kukupigia kura wakati wa ukuchakuzi Lakini mweshimua rais ni kwa sababu hawa watu wanapenda kalonzo kama asali Lakini kwa sababu meku Mpendo muumini tumsifu Yesu Kristu ili kuweka misingi imara katika mambo ya kiuchungaji kwenye jimbo jipya la wote. Baba Skofu Mwashamu Paul Karioki anakualika kwa ibada ya misa na baadaye ya mchango wa kutafuta hela za kujenga miundo misingi inayohitajika. Hii ni kama makao ya mapadri wazee na wakongwe yani Clergy Home, nyumba ya mipango ya kiuchungaji Pastoral Center, pamoja na nyumba ya askofu na mapadri wake Bishop's Residence. Ibada hii ya misa itafanyika Jumamosi tarehe 9 Machi kwenye uwanja wa Unoa, kando ya katedrali ya Mtakatifu Yosefu mfanyakazi wote mjini. Unaweza kumsindikiza baba Skofu Karioki kwa chochote ulichonacho kupitia kwa nambari Mpesa Payment Paybill Number 522522 Account Number 77 78778 Kapuchin TV pia tutamsindikiza baba Skofu na kukuletea ibada hii moja kwa moja kutoka wote kuanzia saa 4 asubuhi Kutoa ni moyo wala si utajiri. Sote tunaombwa tusaidie wote. Endelea kutazama Kapuchin TV, kitambulisho katoliki. Na tukiebrez ETV ya Kapchin, tutaweza kufikia watu wengi huko na wataweza kumfahamu Kristu na injili itaweza kuenea. Mara nyingi wakipeperusha ujumbe wao, huwa kuna namba hapo chini pia wameandika. Hiyo namba, tuma chochote kile uko nachos, hautumi mtu, unatuma ili kazi ya mungu ifikie wale wengine ambapo hawajaweza kumjua Kristu. Kwa mfana wakati wa corona, wametusaidia sana. Saa hii mahali naishi, naishi kwa muda mfupi niko voi, mahali, masisa wetu wakizeka wanaishi. Na kila jumapili, hata tumeenda misa, tumemaliza misa, saa hii na hivi, jumapili unasikia, tuweke kapchini TV, tuweke, tuataka kuona leo wanasoma misa wapi. Kwa hivyo katika hiyo hali, wanaweza pia kwa mafundisho maubiri yenye na, ya na peperushwa hapo, inaendelea pia kuwajenga kiroho. Kwa hivyo wakati tunachangia 
ni kwa ajili ya uenezaji wa injili kwa hivyo nawaalika wote pia tuwaweze kwa kwa support ili mahali hatuwezi tukafika kwa mguu wao watatusaidia kumfikia Kristo mahali walipo asante sana captain asante sana Este mes quiero contarles una historia que es un reflejo de la iglesia de hoy. Es la historia de un testimonio de fe poco conocido. Visitando un campo de refugiados en Lep, un hombre me dijo, Padre, yo soy musulmán. Mi mujer era cristiana. Llegaron los terroristas a nuestro país, nos miraron y nos preguntaron nuestra religión. Vieron a mi mujer con el crucifijo y le dijeron que lo tirara al suelo. Ella no lo hizo y la degollaron delante de mí. Histórico. Y sé que él no tenía rencor. Se centraba en el ejemplo de amor de su mujer. Un amor a Cristo que la llevó a aceptar y ser leal hasta la muerte. Hermanos, hermanas, siempre habrá mártires entre nosotros. Es la señal de que vamos por el camino correcto. Una persona que sabe me decía que hay más mártires hoy que al inicio del cristianismo. El coraje de los mártires, el testimonio de los mártires es una bendición para todos. Oremos para que quienes en diversas partes del mundo arriesgan su vida por el Evangelio, contagen a la Iglesia su valentía, su impulso misionero. Y abiertos a la gracia del martirio. Excitement, boom, goals and millions of emotions. Who will be the ultimate Bundesliga champion? Absolutely unbelievable. Warm yourself up for more sports, more action and more fan celebration. On Star Times. On, on, on Star Times. Stream and catch up on your favorite games. Download the Star Times on app now. Star Times. Enjoy digital life. ya watu wa makueni ni sema kwamba mko na, na governor mzuri sana huyu governor mtula kilonzo hebu mpigieni ye makofi nimekuja hapa leo besides eh, kufanya kazi ya kanisa pia kuja kuangalia vile anatunza huyu bibi yake anatoka kwa ward yangu kule nyumbani na nilikuwa nimekuja either tuchukue yeye kama hajachungwa ama nipeleke ripoti mzuri na nimeona ripoti yake ni mzuri pia ni seme governor ni kushukuru kwa kuwa governor ambaye a person who can resist who can uh, listen to criticism constructive criticism without unnecessary side shows kuna mahali mingi sana ya Kenya ambapo MCA akiguzwa kidogo akiguza governor kidogo kwanza mahali ngine ya Kenya lazima unatembea na troza tatu huyu governor wenu ni governor mzuri is 
oversighted without making noises. And Governor, I'm sure your future is going, is very, very bright. Your Excellency, let me just want to, I want to thank you and uh, Governor Nataka Nikushkuru kwa sababu a few, three minutes so that I can also mention the appointees, government appointees who are here. Kwa sababu wakuta kuwa na fora mwingine, pia ya kuonyeshana kwamba serikali ya William Ruto haijawacha wakamba ndani ya serikali. Because there has been a narrative. This is who we are. We are shepherds of God's flock. We are pastors, servants of God's people. We are KCCB. Somo katika kitabu cha kumbukumbu la Torati. We are officials of men, priests, in the order of Melchizedek. Somo katika injili livyo andikwa na Marko. Waeni mle wote, huu ndio mwidi wangu, kitaka watolewa kwa ajili ye. Awabariki Mungu Mwenyezi Baba na Mwana na Roho Mtakatifu We are brothers and sisters of Jesus Christ We are consecrated We are religious men and women are CMA, we are men of action, we are commission. We are CWA, we are women of faith, we are soprano and alto, we are tenor and bass, we are voices of praise and worship. On that grace, grace morning when the storm was rolled away, on that resurrection morning, Jesus rose to life again. We are youth for Christ. House 47. Ascent Monica's product. We are YCA. We are MYM. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. We are PMC. We are liturgical dancers and artists. We are baptized. I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. We are confirmed. We are married. We are marriage encounter. We are couples for Christ. We are ordained. We are one faith, 
one hope, one baptism. We are one holy Catholic Apostolic We are the Catholic Church. This is who we are. Welcome to Tangaza University College, a multicultural community of holistic formation rooted in gospel values. Our academic programs include postgraduate, undergraduate degrees, diplomas, and certificate courses. At Tangaza University College, we pride ourselves as the leading college in inclusivity with all our learning facilities attuned to accommodate students with special needs. Delight in an ambient environment, professional lecturers, and world-class learning facilities, including a spacious, well-equipped library, a research center, science laboratories, and a multimedia studio. Our full-time and part-time intakes are open in January, May, and August every year. We also offer holiday-based programs in April, August, and December. For more information about our courses and enrollment procedure, visit us along Langata South Road in Karen, Nairobi, or visit our website at www.tangaza.ac.ke. For remote inquiries, send an email to inquiries at tangaza.ac.ke or call us on 0722-204-724. Or zero seven three three six eight five zero five nine. Enroll now for our competitive PhD, Masters, Bachelors, Diplomas, and Certificate courses. Tangaza University College, teaching minds, touching hearts, and transforming lives. Are you searching for a profound spiritual journey, a time of reflection and a transformative experience? Look no further. Welcome to Beatitude Christian Formation Center where spirituality meets education. We are thrilled to introduce to you our St. John Paul II sabbatical program in Maragua, a unique opportunity for personal and spiritual growth. It was started on uh, 10th of August 2013 by our bishop, uh, James Maria Wainaina. So it is his brain uh, child. It's a place which is situated in Maragua, uh, Beatitudes uh, Christian Formation Center. And we admit priests, sisters, brothers, 
uh, who have worked in the ministry for about seven years and they are tired and they would like to come and have uh, what we call quality rest. At Beatitude Christian Formation Center, we believe in nurturing the soul and deepening the connection with the divine. And uh, these priests, sisters and brothers can come from anywhere, Africa, even abroad, as long as they are Catholic priests, sisters and uh, brothers. And uh, uh, they need also to be willing also to come uh, so that they rest. And when they come here, uh, we make sure that they rest well. We offer different uh, topics which will invite someone to reflect. Our experienced and compassionate instructors are committed to guiding you through a transformative journey. Drawing inspiration from the teachings of St. John Paul II, we aim to foster a deep sense of faith, self-discovery and community. It takes four months. So per year, uh, we have two intakes. One, January to May, sometime May, and the other one is August to sometime December. So I would want to invite priests and sisters and brothers who feel tired to know that taking a break and coming like to this sabbatical center here in Muranga, a very serene uh, environment, uh, sharing with others, one discovers the depth and the treasures within them. But don't just take our word for it. Listen to the stories of those who have embarked on this incredible journey with us. For the length of time that I've been here for four months, I've enjoyed the place. Even the, the teachings, the lessons that we have had here, the enough time for resting, the time for exercises, and I'm going back now very energized to begin the work anew. The center has given us the opportunity to rest, dig deep, and purpose our passions to re-energize ourselves away from the workplace while minimizing confusion about our former preferred procedures. So I have really uh, benefited from this program. The holistic sabbatical program has renewed my priestly life. I am no longer the same. The courses we covered in class, presented by highly qualified lecturers, transformed my mindset. The spiritual program of the Diocese of Murang encouraged me to restore my priestly image. I saw people engaging in various spiritual exercises, and they know how to positively use a priest. The program also exposed me to Eucharistic adoration and deeper personal reflection and prayer. St. John Paul II Sabbatical Center is truly a place, of, a place of rest, prayer, reflection, and renewal. We are now coming out of this place refilled, renewed, revitalized for another opportunity, another beginning. Some of the participants uh, had been working for 20 plus years without such kind of a break. Uh. So this, this has been a good opportunity for rest, uh. spiritual rest, uh, spiritual renewal, even, even physical, physical rest and physical, physical renewal. You know, when you're out at work, uh, sometimes you even miss time uh, for physical uh, uh, renewal, uh, physical rejuvenation. But these uh, four months have been a good opportunity for us to get back into, into those uh, deeper, intimate moments of oneself. Join us at Beatitude Christian Formation Center for the St. John Paul II Sabbatical Program, a journey of faith, renewal, and self-discovery. When you come here and you are going back, you go back refreshed, then you run to the mission, embrace the mission, and then you kiss the mission. Maybe you take the mission as your own now, as the work of Jesus, and you continue to, to forge ahead with it. For more information, contact us at 0713-457-522. Beatitude Christian Formation Center, where spiritual journey begins.
Veritas Microfinance Bank imejitolea muhanga kwa kuwawezesha wa Kenya kupata fedha kwa urahisi ili kujenga rasilimali na kujiendeleza. Maisha ya jamii yamebadilika na kuimarika. Msingi wa jamii ni utulivu wa familia iliyoimarika. Ukiwa na mradi unayohitaji kuimarishwa, tuna utu. Karibu zungumze nasi. Caritas Microfinance Bank. Imarika, imarika we. Nini Cottage Mission Hospital is a medical center of choice. The hospital offers 24-hour profound and holistic outpatient and inpatient services. We are equipped with modern medical facilities. Our services are patient-centered, delivered by friendly and compassionate staff. We are a NHIF accredited and we also accept covers from major insurance providers and schemes. We also have MediClaim cover which covers AON for the teachers and the CIC for both Kenya Prison Police Service and the National Police Service. Our ambulance services are available round the clock. Visit Kiminini Cottage Mission Hospital today. We are strategically located at Kiminini Town of Kitale Webuye Highway. For more information, contact us on 0723 644-555 or email us on kimininihospital at yahoo.co.uk or visit our website at www.kimininicottagehospital.com Kiminini Cottage Mission Hospital We treat God Heals Excitement, goals and millions of emotions. Who will be the ultimate Bundesliga champion? Absolutely unbelievable. Warm yourself up for more sports, more action and more fan celebration. On Star Time. On, on, on Star Time. Stream and catch up on your favorite games. Download the Star Times on app now. Star Times. Enjoy digital life. Well, seeking expert medical care that prioritizes both your health and well-being? Welcome to St. Mary's Mission Hospital, Langata, where compassionate care meets cutting-edge medicine. At St. Mary's, we believe in providing holistic health care. Our dedicated team of healthcare professionals is committed to delivering personalized care to each and every patient. Nestled in the heart of Langata, our hospital offers a peaceful and healing environment for patients to recover and thrive. We have uh, masses every day, weekdays uh, at 6:30 a.m. in the morning, and also in the evening at 6:30 uh, p.m. Your health is our top priority. Experience the difference with compassionate care you can trust. Whether you're in need of routine medical care, specialized treatment or emergency services St Mary's Mission Hospital Langata is here for you we offer a comprehensive range of services including outpatient inpatient services laboratory services comprehensive care clinic 
MCH and maternity. We have labor and delivery. We also have postnatal care. And also we deal with mothers who've come that are sick and are, are, are there in the antenatal periods. That is antenatal care. Uh, generally, we admit every mother who walks in in labor and any mother who comes from the clinic uh, for monitoring of labor and also delivery services. And also in maternity, we have a theater whereby all mothers who are not delivering no more are usually taken to theater for cesarean section. Ophthalmology, pharmacy services, radiology and sonography, dental services, pediatrics, physiotherapy, ICU and HDU services, dialysis. Here we do dialysis for kidney failed patients and we do it from Monday through Saturday. We welcome you all. We accept all insurances and cash. Specialist clinics and CT scan services. Experience your health difference with us. Visit us at Langata or our branches in Nairobi at Cardinal Tunga Plaza and in Drift Valley, Elemin Titan, Nakuru County. For more information, contact us at 0797 or 0769-781-880 or 0717-305-204 or email us at info at St. Mary's Mission Hospital.co.ke St. Mary's Mission Hospital Langata Compassionate in Healthcare Are you tired of dead-end jobs? Feeling stuck without a career path? It is time to take control of your future. St. Kizito Vocational Training Institute, your one-stop destination for technical courses since 1994, has got a solution for you. And the aim of the school was to take care of the, of the young people from the marginalized areas of, uh, of Nairobi. Who, are, who had finished school or they had dropped out of school and they did not have, the, their parents didn't have uh, maybe money to take them to university and other, and other, 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 other colleges. A number of them also were out of school, drop out of school because of uh, effects of drugs. So to help them not to, to, to engage in, in, in other other form of, form of uh, things that are not useful to their life, like maybe criminality and all these things. Owned by the Catholic Archdiocese of Nairobi, we have bagged 30 years of empowering unemployed youth from marginalized communities, churning out thousands of job creators to the market. We have uh, a, number of, uh, a number of courses, electrical electronics, motor vehicle mechanics, plumbing and metalwork, carpentry and cabinet making, catering, hair and beauty, and computer. We also offer short courses, defensive uh, driving, programming logical controls, that is auto automations, and solar. Reap maximum benefits from our spacious departments, fully fledged with state-of-the-art tools for practical learning. Our school has been uh, involved mostly in what we call the dual training. Dual training is what people are calling the cabinet-based education. We, we, st we, had, we started this way back in 1994, so we have been following this model 
of a dual training where students study in school and they go to the industry. So it's like they alternate industry and school. So this is what has made our school to excel because most of the students who have followed follow this model, especially the ladies, they have uh, really success, uh, succeeded very well. Maybe within six months, someone is able to finish the course and, uh, and, and start, start working. So we are encouraging more young people to join, this, to join our courses. Whether you dropped out of school at any level or looking to upgrade your skills, St. Kizital Vocational Training Institute has got a course for you. Our requirements, we accept students from all levels of education. Those who have finished class 8, they have a place in our school. Those who have dropped high school, they have a place in our school. And those who have finished high school and they want to pursue their careers, in technical courses, we have a place for, for them. You know, he, he's from Sudan, mm -hmm. and I, Sudan. from Southern Sudan, and I think he has not reached the level of the Kenya, 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 Kenya education, but he has a, he, he's here studying, you know. And that's what we were saying, we have also this program of the dual training, where students study in school and they go to the, to the industry. So when you go to the industry, you are, you are more exposed and you discover your potential. So the school is very open, it's okay. very open. For anybody who wants to study, we, we accommodate them. From automotive engineering to culinary arts and other technical courses, there is something for everyone at St. Kizito VTI. I, the reason why I chose carpentry is because there's not a lot of people who do carpentry, especially for the guys. Mm -hmm. And it actually has a, a huge market. Mm -hmm. Yes, because I like, first I was inspired to come to interior design. So through interior design. So interior design. Italian Italian design, the company. It's interior interior design. Interior design. Interior design. design. Yeah. It is also related to carpentry. It's almost the same field. So I decided to just do it wholly mm -hmm. because that is also a ground to my And the best part, low fees for quality training. It is never too late to pursue your dreams. Since you want to demonstrate, Onesha. We do exams, NITA exams, and uh, as you know, NITA, anybody can can book exams and do the NITA exams. And also we have uh, the NEC, Kenya National Examination Council exams. So those who have uh, finished high school and maybe they, they want to, to start a journey in technical education, they have a place in our, they have a place in our, in our school. Give yourself the chance to rebuild your career path with ease. Enroll in a course of your choice today. Visit our headquarters nestled along Mihoko Road in Gidurai, Kimbo, Nairobi County. So we have two branches. The main branch is here in Gidurai, Kimbo. Bishop Sealangi Mokie Makweni, Your Excellency the President, welcome to Makweni County, which is one of the many counties in your republic. Particularly, uh, you know, politics is a necessary part of our life, but we didn't come here for politics today. Uh, the note I got was, Toke kumya mbesa tuwa kekanisa, na chao kwa nikumwea umya imbesa mute utala, kwa sababu maumya muitala, we shall be here very many times. Let today be enough for finishing the project that we came to do. Nangaia tunenge ulau, tuyambia kumia. Asante your excellency for what you continue to do and thank you for being in this hot place called Makweni. This is where we were born and bred and we love this country. Asatunenge wendo. Kumuenda anine. 
rafiki yangu anaitwa governor wa embu wakati we were inaugurating you bishop alikuja mpaka hapa this morning hata tumeona gari zimetoka embu wale wa embu wako wapi i saw a huge vehicle as my men I saw these people very early in the morning nikashanga walitoka embu saa ngapi Now the person who leads them is here Cecily Mbarire please come Chairman Chairperson UDA Asante Our host bishop and the entire house of clergy your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, Dr. William Samoy Ruto, our host governor, my colleague Mutula Jr., viongozi wote wale wako hapa kutoka serikali kuu na serikali ya county, na wananchi watukufu wa wote diocese. Hamjambo. Mwea ya taiwe. Bwana sifiwe. God is good. And all the time, asanti sana. Your Excellency, tumefurai sana kuwa hapa siku ya leo. Hii ni siku yangu ya pili kuja hapa wote. Tulikuwa hapa September last year katika ordination ya Bishop Kariuki. Na ukanituma hiyo siku na salamu na nikapatia hawa nda inji watukufu wa wote. Nikawaambia ulikuwa unataka kuja lakini hukuweza na wakanituma nikwambie uje siku ingine. na leo umefika Teoseo sio asanti sana Your Excellency mimi ni rafiki ya watu wa ukambani sana kwa sababu kule embu two wards ward inaitwa Moya na Makema imejaa wakamba na huko hata MCA wanachagua anakuanga ni mkamba so to me kambas are part and parcel of embu county na nawapenda sana na pia wao wananipenda sana wananipatianga kura vibaya kwa hivyo nawapenda sana your excellency pia hawa ni jirani katika eastern province tumekuwa kitu kimoja and i'm here feeling at home because pia tumewaletea bishop ambaye alikuwa na sisi kule embu bishop Kariuki ambaye sasa nasikia mnamuita bishop Kasioka nikasema si Kasioka sasa tumefurahi sana kwamba uh, makueni county and embu county tumekuwa marafiki kwa sababu ya bishop Kariuki na ndio maana tumekuja hapa mimi na senator wetu na wananchi kutoka Embu County tumekuja kuambia bado tunawapenda na tutaendelea kuwashikilia. Your Excellency, mimi nimefurahi kwamba umekubali kuja hapa kushikilia rafiki yako Bishop Kariuki kwa sababu tarehe tisa tulikuwa na yeye alikuwa amekuja katika ile National Lenten Campaign Lodge ya Catholic Church na tukikula late lunch akatuambia tukiwa na bishop moheria ako na haraka lazima malize haraka kwa sababu he has to drive all the way masaa nne kutoka embu mpaka hapa wote na ile shida alikuwa nayo ni kwamba anaishi kwa monastery na mahali anaishi kwa monastery ni kwa masista na huko kuna ile saa lazima uwe umefika na ni saa moja sasa alikuwa anatuambia ikifika saa moja kama hajafika atakuwa na shida kubwa sana anaweza lala nje. Kwa hivyo leo tumekuja kuhakikisha kwamba utapata mahali mzuri ya kulala, utakuwa na mahali ya ofisi na utakuwa na mahali ya kufanyia watu wa wote diocese kazi mzuri. Na nataka kukushukuru kwamba ile bio na kazi ulitufanyia kule embu umeleta the same same energy katika makueni wote na mimi niliwaambia wakati tulikuwa hapa last ya kwamba mkiwa na bishop Kariuki 
mutaanza kuona mambo ikibadilika hapa wote. Kwa hivyo mjue muko na Kasioka anajua kuchapa ka? Kasioka mchapa kazi. Pia your excellency I want to thank you because nimesikia mheshimiwa mmoja hapa akisema haukuchaguliwa sana huku. Lakini even after that you have become a president of the entire country. Na umekuja hapa kuonyesha hao watu wa makweni that you are their president and you are ready to work for them. Na ndio maana unasikia the kingdom iko karibu kuisha. Housing ndio hiyo nasikia ukiambiwa uhakikishe imeisha. Najua pia markets zile unatengeneza in other counties hata huku makweni kuna markets ambazo umesema lazima ziishe ambazo zilikuwa zinaitwa economic stimulus package market ambazo zilikuwa katika kila constituency one market na mingi ya hizo projects hazikuisha kwa miaka 15 wewe umeona usaidie mama mboga umalize hizo markets ndio mama mboga aone mahali ya kufanyia biashara hiyo ni mzuri ama si mzuri so your excellency i just want to request the leadership of makweni the mps Governor and all your MCAs support the national projects that His Excellency is going to bring to Makueni because he's bringing them, bringing those projects for the benefit of the people of Makueni. And I want to appreciate you, my brother Mutula Kilonzo, because I have seen you support projects that not only come from yourself but also from the national government. Finally, your Excellency, Nikona rafiki yangu hapa makueni wa thati. na ni rafiki napenda who mentored me when i was in the civil society na akanifundisha what governance means what people centered leadership means na anaitwa professor kivuda kibwana na professor your excellency is a very brilliant man highly intelligent hard worker very humble so kwa sababu ya kuwa very humble it's very easy to forget kivuda kibwana because hautaona kikusukuma juu ya kitu chochote yeye yeah, anakaa tu ukimuona ni sawa usipomuona ni sawa huyo ndi professor kivuda kibwana rafiki yangu mimi nataka kuomba your excellency nimesikia mheshimiwa ishongo akisema serikali bado utaweza kuingiza watu wengine kwa serikali. Nataka kuomba ukiangalia watu wale watakufanyia kazi mzuri kwa serikali yako kutoka huku ukambani na kutoka hapa makueni usisahau profesa Kivudha Kibwana. He's a very good man and I know his heart. He means well for his people. Asanteni sana watu wa makueni. Ngaiya muradhime na mugaoka na kasioka kuola embu Thank you very much. God bless you to Nawapenda. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Chair and my colleague. To the bishops, thank you for your patience. I hope Mulwana and Nika notes because for all the people who have spoken, all the people who have come to the front, Nitanza Kuwaitisha Kasamu in a few minutes. CEOs, Makweni, Simameni, Mwonekane. CEOs, where are you? I have seen a list of 11. 11 chief officers who are here. I'm going to coffee. Mawaziri, Simameni, here. This is the only part where I'm equal to the president. Ata mi pia ni kona mawaziri, wacha uone ni kiringa kidogo. Jafeth Mangoka, waziri wa devolution. Nicholas Masila, Waziri wa Lands, Joyce Mutua, Waziri wa Kilimo, Dr. Sonia, Waziri wa Trade, na Waziri Engineer Sebastian Choni, Infrastructure. Mpige, wapige ni makofi. As promised. Uh, first Lady, kuja usumambi tu wapa, upunge, aya, unga mawa. Nemo wano osu? Nemo muisi? Nemo muisi? Komwe nda ukela mumone, etawani, etawamutula, 
Newe mwendo wakwa. Newe first lady wenyu. Mkuni yeko. Asante. In a few minutes, uh, Your Excellency, I will usher you to speak to these people who have been waiting. Kwa mda mrefu wazungumzie. Agenda zetu ni kidogo. Na kuna mtu alisema mambo ya ukambani ni mata, matatu. Yule pale mumo alisema agenda namba moja kiwo, agenda namba 2 water, na agenda namba 3 match. He's the creator of that story. Your Excellency, I want to appreciate a decision that was made by cabinet this week on regional development authority Zamaji. Na chair yuko hapa. Kuna dam iko hapa tu, inaitwa Kamonyo lo dam, ambaye iko under tana athi. Imetusumbua sana. Now that the government has agreed ipatiwe counties to patiwe hiyo dam because hakuna haja inisumbue au watu wa wote wanataka maji. Similarly, the water from Kajiado all the way to Makweni that is going to Kibwezi. It's also an Atanathi. When this water comes to counties, I'm sure the people of Makweni will not uh, suffer as much as they are suffering. Your Excellency, just where, above where you landed is a stadium called Water Stadium. But it's not a stadium because Aijaisha na Ilianza 2017. And it started at the same time as Kirigiti, Kinoru, Jamhuri, and many others. The track is complete. And we have produced in Makweni people like Yavi. And Makweni is ready to produce more. In fact, Your Excellency, as we uh, sit here, there is a special Olympics for intellectually, intellectually impaired uh, people across at KMTC, the first of its kind sponsored by McQueen and Nike, is going on. That is the talent, because when these people went to Berlin, McQueen brought the most gold medals. Kwaivo, Your Excellency, could you please finish the stadium for us? And Galao, <laughs> Gormaya, na my team, AFC Leopards wakuja. Mashemeji Dabi, ineza kuja wote. On agriculture, Sometimes, Your Excellency, we, we ask so many things and we forget to say thank you. Let me thank Waziri Medhika Linturi. Medhika Linturi has allowed us, and through NCPB, we have set up five depots. We have identified another four the fertilizer. Apa, Karibu, NCPB stores, Zikwapa, we have put fertilizer available for the agriculturalists. There is a first class dryer, four tons per hour, ambao imewekwa hapa. Na ingine iko makendu. The only ones that you have of that kind. And he has come here once and is coming again because of a livestock project. Your Excellency, the largest livestock yard in this region is in Makweni. The fourth largest livestock yard is in Kadonzweni in the whole country. And there is a project, Your Excellency, that started in 2015. And I think it's something that we can do, and I've asked Waziri to come. Susan Nakumicha was here, Waziri wa Health. Kuna kijana anaito wa Malu. He was unable to pronounce her name, Akamwita Nakumis. So we call her Nakumis here. If you recall, I was in a committee of the Council of Governors with SES and others about medical leasing equipment. The machine that we were given by national government in water is a CT scan. By the time it was transferred to us, Your Excellency, it was not working. Nikama ile gari yako mimi na unaijua, KR, ile Range Rover yako ya green. Kama hiyo gari ungeuzua bila engine, ungeichukua kweli. So as far as I'm concerned, the transfer was done to us for that CT scan when it had no engine. So that con contractor, no namjua, to akikishie kwamba ametutengeneze machine so that we can truly get a machine that is working. 
You have been told about Emali, Ukia, Wamonyo, Etangine, across. It is the only road that cuts across four counties all the way from Roy Tok Tok. If you want to open Ukambani, the places where people grow fruits, where they grow all forms of agriculture, that is the road that will make sure that this community that I love gets out of poverty. On matters, and that is infrastructure. On markets, Your Excellency Nimeku Nongonezea Kwamba, watu wale wanafanya soko, tunataka tukubaliani. So that wakitengeneza soko, watengeneze soko maali, iyo soko itasaidia wananchi. And we know where those markets should be. Wamekuja, lakini bado, they should allow us to speak to the public, to sikizane mambo ya public participation and how it's going to be done. There's a gentleman, your waziri, called C.S. Chelgui. C.S. Chelgui with Cherry Fund, amefanya and ameakikisha wafanyikazi watu wale wanalima kahawa, wameanza kurudi mashambani. Because now they are receiving the Cherry Fund. We must thank you for the waziris who have come to work with us. On Thwake, the first beneficiary of this diocese that we want to construct and the headquarters of this diocese is the water from Thwaki. Naikija, then the benefit of the infrastructure, Bishop, you have done, Niyo Machi. Kwevo, Your Excellency, I'm not happy that the project has told, Kwevo, to sukumie to, so that we can finish that project as quickly as possible. Konza City, nearly ready, they have three modern stadiums. That's why I'm asking about these stadiums. We have three very inexpensive uh, modern stadiums. Next to my office, Your Excellency, is SECU, part of uh, SECU University. I, I sent you a beautiful memorandum in red. Ukaipatia your uh, officer, akaipatia waziri wa education, musukume tu kidogo tu, tupate university makueni. The, we are the largest exporters of education in this region. Sisi ndo tunapeleka watu all over the country. Tunataka university yetu. So that these people can uh, spend less on the money they are sending all their teams. Nime Maliza. Thank you for coming to Q to plant trees with us. We will continue with that cause. Iyo bado inaendelea, imeenda pole pole, but we will ensure that what you started in Q continues and is, uh, uh, comes to pass. Mwisho ni seme hivi. Kuna wale wame kushukuru kwa kupatia mwishmua Raila Odinga kazi. Sijui ni umambatia ama umamzalia apate kazi. Sisi tunauliza na kwa kikama tunasema subi ambai. Sisi ya tutake kusaulika. Tusisaulike. And the handshake that uh, professor is suggesting we have a formula for you to come to this community wapatia vitu zile wanataka because you are the president of these people also. Sisi atutaki kusikia ni kama tuimbemba yote. Kanabe mundu kwendu? Eh? Thank you. Lastly, Your Excellency, we have uh, one of its kind mango factory called Kalamba, done by Professor Kibwana. It does five tons an hour, 40 tons a day. And we, because the national government is considering fruits, and in the program you have done with EU on fruits, once we get cold storage, we will be able to produce mango juice for the whole of this country. So we are asking you, Nawaziri, if you can, mutusaidia hiyo. Zile nyumba ziko pale, ukisema ngwe. Those houses, 261 units, can be completed immediately and quickly. Thank you very much. Tusumameni, ili tumualike, the President of the Republic of Kenya, His Excellency William Samoy Ruto. Asante sana mwishmiwa governor na waomba tuketi chini asante ni sana. 
Mwadhama askofu wetu mkuu askofu wetu wa Jimbo la Makweni ndugu Paul Kariuki maaskofu wote mlio hapa na viongozi wa kanisa ndugu viongozi wote wenzangu mawaziri magavana PSS wa bunge la bunge la kitaifa na bunge la county ndugu wa Kristo wa Makweni tumsifu Yesu Kristo Bwana Yesu asifiwe Mbaito mu ya aseo Mwia ya taiwe Bwana Yesu asifiwe Ebu munisalimie hewani hivi nione asanteni sana Kwanza wacha nichukue na fasi hii Baba askofu ni kuombe msamaha kidogo kwa sababu Awa watu ambao mimi na waongoza pande hii Ni watu kidogo wanazidi Leo tulikuwa tumekuja kanisani lakini wamepitisha mambo imeingia katika ulingo wa siasa sana. Pili mimi nataka niwashukuru ndugu watu wa Makueni kwa kutukaribisha hapa tena kwa siku ya leo. Nimshukuru baba askofu Kariuki kwa kutualika na leo nilisema liwe liwalo lazima nifike kwa sababu ile mwaliko nilipata wakati ule mwingine sikuweza kufika lakini leo namshukuru Mungu ametupatia nafasi tuungane na waumini na wananchi pamoja na viongozi wa hapa makweni tuweze um, kwa heshima tujenge kanisa hapa makweni kwa sababu najua ndio mapenzi ya Mungu kwetu Vile vile mimi nataka niwashukuru ninyi nyote kwa kuombea nchi yetu kuombea serikali yetu katika national government na county government ndio sote tuweze kuwatumikia na vile vile tuweze kutambua na kujua mapenzi ya Mungu kwa taifa letu la Kenya ndio tuweze kutekeleza Mimi nimefika hapa leo kwa sababu ya mwaliko wa askofu lakini hata na hivyo mimi si mgeni hapa makweni nilikuwa katika uwanja huu mara nyingi wakati wa mambo ya maendeleo wakati wa siasa tulikuja hapa maombi nimesimama mara nyingi hapa kwenye soko ya makweni na sehemu mbalimbali mbali hapa makweni na mimi nataka niwaambie ndugu watu wa makweni asanteni sana mara tukifika hapa mnatukaribisha na nyinyi ni watu wazuri watu wa Mungu asanteni sana viongozi wetu wa hapa wamesema kwa kirefu mambo yanayohusikana na mambo ya maendeleo ya sehemu hii na mambo ya maendeleo ni ya muhimu kwa sababu ndio nafasi tuko nayo wakati tunangojea kwenda mbinguni bado tuko hapa na nafasi kidogo wakati maaskofu wanatupangia vile tutaenda mbinguni na sisi tunapanga vile tutatumia ile muda tuko naye hapa tupange barabara stima nini vitu kidogo kidogo tukingojea kwenda mbinguni na nashukuru sana kwamba Nilisimama hapa mapema nafikiri mwaka uliopita ama the previous year na nikasema niko tayari kufanya kazi na viongozi wote waliochaguliwa kwa sababu mimi naamini hakuna kiongozi anachaguliwa kwa bahati mbaya kila kiongozi anachaguliwa kwa mapenzi ya Mungu na kwa hivyo nikasema MCS wa bunge governor wenu senator na kila mtu Mambo ya uchaguzi tumemaliza sasa tuungane, tushirikiane, tupange vile Kenya itasonga mbele. Mimi bado niko na msimamo huo, nataka tushirikiane, tufanye kazi pamoja. Nataka niwashukuru wabunge wananisaidia katika kupanga mambo ya serikali kuu. 
kwa bunge wanapitisha sheria wanasaidia mambo ya policy na magavana wetu pia na shirikiana na wao kwa sababu katiba ya Kenya inatuamurisha tuunganishe serikali ya kitaifa na serikali ya county ili maendeleo ipate kasi kwa hivyo asanteni sana viongozi wenzangu kwa kushirikiana pamoja na mimi na sote katika mambo ya maendeleo ya taifa letu la Kenya Nitasema tu mambo machache ambayo nimeulizwa na hawa viongozi moja wapo ikiwa ni nilisimama hapa na nikawaambia ile mjengo ambayo imejengwa pale ya manyumba imejengwa karibu miaka 30 nitatafuta contractor tumalize na mbali na hiyo nyumba mia mbili nitaweka mpango ndio tujenge nyumba elfu moja pale tumemaliza mambo yote ningekuwa nimekamilisha mapema lakini kuna watu fulani walinifanyia maandamano hapo katikati nini nini hawa eh, hawa kina maanzo na wengine hata ngawaje saa hii wananiambia wao ndio wamechelewesha hii kazi tungekuwa tumesonga songa lakini sawa so uh, mimi nataka niwaeleze ya kwamba Jumatatu this monday contractor anakuja kuendesha hiyo kazi nimeshamwambia governor ya kwamba anisaidie kuhakikisha kwamba pale tunakubaliana tuna contractor tayari tumempata tumeweka pesa ya kutosha na tutakamilisha ile nyumba mia mbili ziko pale na tutajenga ingine mia saba na kitu ijaye elfu moja na ni kwa sababu nilisimama hapa sokoni na nikawaambia vijana wa hapa nitakuwa na mpango ya wao kupata ajira mimi nataka niwatangazie vijana wa makueni kuanzia Jumatatu tutahitaji vijana karibu elfu moja pale kama wewe ni architect engineer quantity surveyor electrician plumber mason carpenter electrician muti ya mkono muti ya kutengeneza uji nini mkuwe pale na sio hapa peke yake tuko na mpango ya nyumba karibu elfu tatu zingine katika miji mingine katika kaunti yetu ya Makueni vile 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 viongozi wamesema hapa nilisimama hapa dukani nikasema pia tutakuwa na mpango ya kuhakikisha kwamba wafanyabiashara sokoni wanafanya biashara mahali kuna heshima mahali kuna taa mahali kuna stima mahali kuna maji mahali kuna um, usafi tayari mnajua na viongozi wenu hapa wa bunge wanajua tume award contract ya soko tano hapa makueni ikiwemo soko yetu hii ambayo iko hapa tumeweka zaidi ya shilingi milioni hamsini kwa hiyo mpango mimi nataka niwaulize viongozi wa hapa nimekubaliana na governor governor ameniuliza ya kwamba ndani ya wiki mbili ahamazishe wananchi ndio tukubaliane ili wale wanaondoka mahali tutajenga soko wajue tukikamilisha ujenzi wa soko watarudi mahali pale wakiwa ama wakiwa na nafasi ya kuendesha biashara yao mahali ambayo tumefanyia kazi so wana governor and your team i agree with you let us join forces na kama kuna mahali ambapo tumependekeza kujenga soko na mnaona ya kwamba pengine tungepeleka mahali pengine pazuri zaidi tuko tayari kukubaliana na nyinyi kwa mfano nimeambiwa pale Kathonzweni 
kuna mahali ingejengwa soko kadhonzweni itself badala ya mahali ingine kona so tutaendelea namna hiyo and we are going to work together because ile ya muhimu sio mashindano ya viongozi ama mashindano ya serikali hii na serikali hile ya muhimu ni wananchi wapate mahali pazuri pa kufanya biashara na katika harakati hiyo pia tuhakikisha kwamba vijana wa makueni vile vile vijana wa Kenya wanapata nafasi ya ajira hiyo soko tano tunajenga hapa makueni sio makueni peke yake tunajenga soko zaidi ya tano Kenya mzima kwa sababu i made a commitment to mama mboga that they are going to work in a place with dignity with water with sanitation proper electricity and in an organized manner and i want to keep that commitment so tunashirikiana na hiyo ndio tunataka um bile bile mimi nataka ni washukuru viongozi wenzangu hapa wametetea wale tumeketi upande huu wameniambia kuna mtu fulani ajapata kazi kuna mtu fulani ajapata kazi hawa wameketi hapa kwa cap red carpet wako na maji wamekaa viti mzuri <laughs> mimi naomba viongozi wakati mnatetea hawa please mkumbuke kuna hata wale eh <laughs> <laughs> and if anything wale they are more deserving tuko na vijana wengi zaidi ya milioni ine Kenya wamemaliza shule wako na certificate diploma degree hawana kazi so ya muhimu zaidi na hawa tutapangana sisi hapa maneno ya hawa msiwe mnalete hapa Muna nitafuta kwa ofisi. Mukikuja hapa semeni maneno ya wale. Ama ama mnasemaje? Si maneno ya hawa tuongee mali nyingine. Eh, na tunakutananga kila siku. Muniambie wakati tumekutana huko. Hapa tukikutana tupange mambo ya wananchi wale. So vijana wa makueni. Na mimi nataka niwaulize viongozi. Tafadhali na wauliza and i am speaking to you as your father figure by office nataka ni waombe tuondoe vizuizi kwa sababu saa zingine tukitaka kufanya kazi fulani tunaweka vizuizi mpaka mimi ni zungumziwe mpaka mimi nipatiwe kakitu baka mimi ni hapana hiyo maneno tuachane naye hakuna mtu atapatiwa chochote niliwasema wafisadi na wakora na wezi mambo yao ni matatu wote na haina rank hata kama wewe ni kiongozi ukitaka kujiingiza kwa mambo ya ufisadi mambo yako ni matatu Sio kama tunaelewana Tuko pamoja Kwa sababu hawa wananchi wametuheshimu Sisi tuko na mshahara Wao hawana Sisi ambao tumepatiwa kazi na wale wananchi kama sisi ndio tutazuia nafasi yao pia wapate kazi hiyo hata mbele ya Mungu tutapata laana we must as leaders do everything possible to facilitate government programs whether they are county or they are national that benefit the people because they are our employers and it is the reason we have a job to do so na waomba mimi nataka pia nishukuru mayanga brother mutula kilonzo junior kwa ile kazi anafanya hapa na ushirikiano ambayo tumeweka kwa maneno ya matibabu 
Mimi nilisimama hapa makueni nikawaambia tutaweka mfumo mpya. Kwa sababu ile mfumo ilikuweko ilikuwa na ubaguzi. Haikujali wale wa chini. Ndio sababu tumebadilisha sheria na mimi nataka niwashukuru wabunge. Kwa sababu tuko na sheria mpya sasa Kenya ya mambo ya matibabu. Na hiyo sheria iko na mambo manne ya muhimu. Ya kwanza tumekubaliana matibabu tunapeleka mpaka kwa kijiji. Ndiyo tumeweka community health promoters. Kenya tuko na community health promoters elfu mia moja. Identified by the counties, equipped by the national government. Because we are one government. Na pale kijijini tutakuwa sasa na muuguzi, community health promoter. Kila nyumba mia moja tutakuwa na community health promoter. Anatembea kwa manyumba yenu, napima mambo yenu, kwa sababu tunataka kuanzia matibabu pale chini, bottom. Ndiyo tuanzia hapo. Ya pili, tumekubaliana ya kwamba kuna wananchi hawawezi kulipa bima ya afya. They cannot pay NHIF. Wale wako chini. Tumekubaliana ya kwamba hawa wote. We are going to identify them. Vile tuna identify wale wa cash transfer. Hawa wote tumesema for the first time the people who cannot afford to pay for health insurance, the government of Kenya is going to pay for them. Ili kila mtu awe na bima ya afya, ikifika kiwango fulani, aende level 3, level 4, 5 and 6, awe na bima ya kulipia garama hiyo. Ya tatu, tumesema vile vile kwa wale wako na uwezo wa kulipa, pia tutawaweka kwa viwango. Kila mtu atalipa kulingana na mapato yake. Kwa mfano, wale watu wanalipa miatano saizi. Kama ye ni mama mboga, ama muti ya boda boda, mapato yake ni shilingi elfu tano, elfu kumi. Tutampunguzia, badala ya kulipa miatano kila mwezi kwa NHIF, alipe miatatu. Na tuko na wengi. Alafu ya ine, tumekubaliana vile vile under this new program sheria hii mpya ambayo tumepitisha pia tumekubaliana ya kwamba tutakuwa na chronic illness fund hazina maalum ambayo itakuwa available kwa wakenya wote kwa magonjwa ambayo yako na kiburi na kisirani kama ile ya kansa diabetes hypertension and all the chronic illnesses. Kwa sababu tumesema hatutaki mwananchi tena auze mali yake, auze ngombe ama shamba aende alipe gharama ya hospitali. Hiyo gharama yote ya hospitali ya kansa na nini? Saa hizi tunafanya harambe, tunakusanya milioni moja, milioni tano, milioni mbili, elfu tano. Hiyo mambo ya harambe tutawacha kwa sababu tutakuwa na hazina maalum na hakuna mkenya tena atauza mali yake kulipa gharama ya hospitali. Hiyo ndio mpango tuko naye. Na mimi nawaomba watu wa Makueni that is the program we have put in place. Na wauliza sisi ambayo tuko na mshahara kubwa kubwa kuanzia mimi na hawa waheshimiwa. Sisi tulipe kidogo zaidi ndio tupunguzie mzigo wale wameketi huko mzigo yao ikuwe kidogo ama mnataka mzigo iende kwa wanani sisi si wadosi ndio tubebe eh ndio atumesema nani abebe hii mzigo sisi hapa wadosi au wako wameketi hapa mbele sasa nyinyi waheshimiwa wacheni maneno umesikia vile wananchi wamesema so tuendelee namna hiyo Mimi vile vile nataka ni waeleze, mume niuliza mambo ya maji. Na mimi nataka ni wakikishie. Nilikuwa hapa, nikawambia mambo ya tuwa kedamu. Tutakamilisha katikati ya mwaka huu. Tumepata changamoto kidogo. 
tumepata changamoto kidogo kwa sababu imebidi tuongeze ile ukuta ya kuzuia maji ndio tuweze kutega maji zaidi our experts have indicated to us that it is better that we increase the embankment so that we can store more water na jambo la pili pesa ambayo tulikuwa nayo imepungua imebidi nirudi tena kwa Africa Development Bank na wamekubali kutuongezea pesa shilingi bilioni saba ili tuweze kukamilisha kabisa hiyo program ya hiyo maji na nimeeleza viongozi wenu ya kwamba the new timetable kwa sababu ya additional work na additional resources ni kabla ya mwisho wa mwaka huu mimi nitakurudi hapa kuja kufungua rasmi hiyo maji mkunywe mtumie manyumbani mtumie kwa irrigation na vile vile mtumie kwa mifugo so that we can grow this uh, region tuko na maji ingine tofauti tofauti tumepangana na hawa viongozi vile vile um, tumekubaliana mambo ya kuzalisha chakula Kenya na mimi nataka nimshukuru Mungu kwamba tulienda kiwanjani pale tukaomba Mungu pale Nyayo Stadium atusaidie mvua. Mungu ametupatia mvua mwaka uliopita tukawa na mpango ya mbegu tukapunguza gharama ya mbolea and I committed I remember nilisimama hapa nikawaambia hii bei ya mbolea tutatoa shilingi elfu saba ikuje chini. Leo mbolea tunauza hapa elfu mbili na mia tano. Na mimi nataka nimuulize governor wenu ni mshukuru kwa sababu tumekubaliana na yeye mbegu isipatikane mbolea isipatikane tu kwa ma towns kubwa tusukume iende mashinani na hivyo ndivyo tunafanya nataka niwashukuru wakulima walituzalishia chakula mwaka uliopita kwa sababu ya mvua mbegu na mbolea tulipunguza bei tukaongeza magunia kutoka 1044 mpaka magunia 1060 milioni milioni 44 mpaka milioni 65 mwaka uliopita this year tuna target magunia milioni 75 this year kwa sababu tunataka kuhakikisha ya kwamba tunaondoa aibu ya njaa katika taifa letu la Kenya na niliwaeleza hii njaa hatuwezi kufukuza kwa maandamano uweze kufanyia maandamano njaa utafanyia maandamano njaa ndio itoke ama uvalie sufuria kwa kichwa how is it going to help so tumeshirikiana hivyo na mimi nawauliza tena wakulima wetu wa taifa la Kenya we have made arrangements again this year of seeds certified seed we've also made arrangements on fertilizer the distribution is going now on across the country ndio tuzalishe chakula ili tuondoe njaa katika taifa letu la Kenya tuwe na heshima na mimi nataka niwaulize kwa sababu inabidi niwaeleze tunatumia karibu bilioni tano kila mwaka kuagiza chakula Kenya mahindi tunaleta kutoka nje ngano mchele sukari edible oil na hiyo bilioni tano ni pesa nyingi badala ya kuendelea kuagiza chakula kutoka nje jameni tuwe na mpango kuzalisha hiyo chakula hapa Kenya ili hiyo bilioni tano badala ya kulipa wakulima wa nchi zingine tulipe wakulima wa taifa letu la Kenya tunakubaliana hivyo tutashirikiana namna hiyo very good so tuendelee namna hiyo tushirikiane namna hiyo ndio tuweze kufikisha mambo yetu mbele sitaki kusema sana kwa sababu leo ni E, mambo yetu ya kanisa lakini kwa sababu hata ingawaje tunapanga kwenda mbinguni tuko na kazi kidogo tukingojea lazima tupange hapa tusilale njaa tupange barabara tupange maji nini ndio Kenya iweze kusonga mbele 
mambo yenu ya barabara mimi narudi hapa kabla ya mwisho wa mwezi huu takuwa hapa makueni na ukambani kwa ujumla nitakuja na maneno yake nataka wabunge wenu wakiwa hapa katika budget ambayo mimi natengeneza saa hizi napendekeza karibu shilingi bilioni moja ya mambo ya barabara nyinyi wabunge munisaidie kupitisha huko bunge hapa makueni nimeweka mpango ile ya last mile kwa sababu najua watu wengi bado hawajafikiwa pia na stima hapa makueni mwaka huu tumeweka bilioni moja na nusu ya kuunganisha watu 1025 wapya makueni county kwa huduma ya stima na nimeweka mpango ya next year tumeweka bilioni mbili kwa program ya stima specifically 22 billion shillings kwa last mile connectivity wabunge wenu wako hapa waheshimiwa mupitishe hiyo maneno ndio tuweze kupatia stima hawa wananchi si ndio eh hawa wabunge ni watu wazuri si, ni watu wazuri kidogo saa zingine yes lakini ni watu wazuri generally si ndio so tupitisha haya maneno tusongeshe mambo yetu mbele na tupeleke taifa letu la Kenya mbele mimi nawauliza tu wabunge ya kwamba sote hii kazi yote ambayo tumesema ukweli ni kwamba hatuwezi kuendelea kukopa pesa ya kufanya maendeleo Kenya lazima tutafute mbinu mpya ya kutafuta mapato kuongeza ushuru ndio tuweze kupeleka Kenya mbele mwisho kabisa kama mkristo mimi nataka niwaambie neno la Mungu linatufundisha kwamba kuna siku tutasimama mbele ya Mungu sijui kama mko na hiyo habari Mungu na hiyo habari kwamba kuna siku tutasimama mbele ya Mungu na mimi nataka na nasema hivyo kwa heshima kubwa najua maaskofu wetu wako hapa Mathayo 25 mstari wa 35 kwenda mpaka 46 hivi neno la Mungu linasema tutasimama mbele ya Mungu and each of us will give an account ya nafasi uliopata na ulifanya nini na hiyo nafasi unanielewa kwa sababu mara nyingi watu wengi wananiuliza wewe umetusukuma sana unasema tujenge manyumba unasema tuchugulike na mambo ya universal health coverage ambayo ya matibabu unasema tufanye mambo ya maji nasema tufanye siju mambo gani muende musome biblia biblia inasema tukisimama mbele ya Mungu tutaulizwa wewe ulikuwa na nafasi lakini nilikuja kwako hamko nisaidia chakula nikalala njaa mimi nilikuwa sina mahali ya kuishi ama kulala hamko nipatia mahali ya kulala nilikuwa na kiu haukunipatia maji hata tutaulizwa vijana walikuwa hawana kazi haukufanya chochote si ndio nyinyi mnafikiri mimi nitaenda kusimama mbele ya Mungu nijibu hiyo maswali yote na niko na nafasi ya kufanya hiyo kazi nikose kufanya ah bana ndio mnaona niko na bidii sana kwa sababu nataka nikisimama mbele ya Mungu isemekane watu wa makueni walikuwa na kiu au kuwapatia au kuwapangia maji na ulikuwa na nafasi ya kuwa rais mnataka atinianguke hiyo mtihani hapana ama isemekane kulikuwa na vijana wengi mamilioni Kenya We ulikuwa na nafasi na sisi wote tuko hapa so every leader must know that one time we will be held to account on the opportunity we have to serve the nation we must make a difference so asanteni sana na wapenda sana na nimesema nitarudi hapa eh, kabla ya mwisho wa mwezi huu ama nikichelewa mwezi ujao mapema ndio tukuje tupange mambo yetu ya maendeleo hapa 
Baba askofu, askofu kasioka. Eh? Wewe ni rafiki wetu na tumefurahi sana eh, kufika hapa kwa mwaliko wako. Tutakuja tena na tena na kama kuna mahali tumekosea utatusamehe. Sio kwa kupenda, unajua hii watu tunachanganywa na siasa, siasa inaenda inachanganya maneno. Lakini um, Mungu atatujalia. Kwa hivyo ndugu zangu watu wa makueni asante sana na mimi nataka niwahakikishie hakuna sehemu ya Kenya hakuna jamii ya Kenya hakuna county ya Kenya itawachwa nyuma kwa mambo ya maendeleo ya taifa letu la Kenya we are going to move together kwa hivyo asante sana god bless you na mungu awajalie thank you Your Excellency, sir, we begin presenting our contributions now. We begin with the pastoral commissions. Here we have the youth, the PMC. They will be represented by the pastoral coordinator. Very good. Ah, yeah. Sorry. Pastoral commission, youth, PMC, WD, w, uh, CWA, CMA, uh, YCS wamekusanya elfu mianane ishirini na ine na miatano wapigia makofi Thank you very much Bishop Asante. Next is our schools, institutions and health facilities uh -huh. Catholic institutions wote shilingi nusu milioni 500,000 Thank you very Next much. is the clergy of Wate Diocese. The Vicar General will represent them. Priests of Wate. Shilingi million mbili, elfu miaine hamsini, miatisa na hamsini. 2.4 million. Thank you very much, Bishop. Thank you. Then we go to the dinaries. Makweni dinari. Nianze na? Parishes. Wa makweni. Wa makusanya 3 million. 563,595 Wapike Makofi. This diaspora. Okay. diaspora. Okay. 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 10,028,255. Next is Kibwezi Dinari. Kibwezi Dinari. Parishes, million tatu na elfu ishirini. Diaspora, elfu miatano, arbaini na tisa, yote, 3,570,270. Asante sana. Next is Nzawo Dinari. Very good. Nzau Dinari, parishes 1.3 million, diaspora 798,000, total 2,108,000. Thank, Thank you. Next Thank you. is Kilungu Dinari. Kilungu Dinari, parishes 2,620,000, diaspora 3,241,000, uh, 3, total. Ya Kilungu Dinari, 5,861,570. Next is Mboni Dinari. He's right Mboni, next to you. Mboni Dinari, <laughs> parishes 1,705,000, diaspora 668,500, yote 2,373,500. Congratulations. Now I Thank invite you. the host bishop so that he leads us in inviting these other teams. As a bishop, mimi na maraviki. Askofu wetu. Kasioka Paul Kariuki. <laughs> Shilingi milioni tano na elfu miatano. 5.5 million. Asante sana askofu. How are you, sir? Very good. 
diocese we announce all the amount archdiocese uh, announce all of them yes this is uh, elfu mia ine kutoka archdiocese mbalimbali yes. no, nairobi. nairobi nairobi archdiocese asante sana thank you Cardinal Njue, Shilingi Elfu Miyamoja, Tumbigia Makofi. Thank you very much. Askofu wetu Kivuba, Shilingi Elfu Miyamoja, Sante Sana. Representatives of other dioceses who are here kindly move forward. Very good. Very good. Waliotumwa kutoka Jimbo from Diocese of Nyahururu, Shilingi Elfu Miyamoja, Asante Sana. Norman Kingo. Norman Kingo, ambaye ndio baba wa hii diocese, ndio tulipata nafasi ya hii diocese kutoka kwake, Shilingi Elfu Miyambili. Thank you very much, Bishop. Okay, from the commissions, education, shilingi elfu miyamoja, na ingine KCB commission, oh yeah, total shilingi elfu miyambili, sante sana. Kutoka health commissions, shilingi milioni moja, sante sana. The Bishop of Isiolo, Isiolo shilingi elfu miyamoja, sante. Oh, yes, thank you. Nice Vice Chancellor of Catholic University, Shilingi Elfu Miambili Asante. Corporate institutions, the banks and the businesses uh, get ready. Archdiocese of Nyeri, 250,000 Asante Sana. From Gog Diocese, Asante Sana, Shilingi Elfu Miambili. Banks who are here, thank you. Other uh, businesses. Then okay. We, have, we go to Embu Diocese. Embu Diocese are right here. Marafiki wa Skofu kutoka Embu Diocese, 1,861,500. Sasa bishop, kama tungekua, tungejua maneno ni hii, atungeongea kwa hii mkutano. Kwa sababu hawa watu wote wameongea, kama tungejua hii maneno vile umepanga, hii tungenyamaza. Sindio? Siminaona maneno yetu yumekua mingi, na kumbe bishop wamesha jipanga. Na tulikuwa tunajifanya hapa, hati tumekuja na pesa. Lakini sasa mambo yetu imekwama. So, nita eh, kupatia kutoka kwangu shilingi milioni tano. Asante, asante sana. Alafu, sasa nyinyi mulio sema maneno mingi hapa kujeni. Na kila mutu unakuja na kipimo ya maneno yako. Kama uliongea dakika tano, utoe pesa ya kutoshana. Asante. Asante. Thank you, thank you very much. Yes. Aya, Bwana Mutua, waziri wangu wa mambo ya utali na marafiki zake, wametuletea shilingi milioni moja. Aya, waziri wetu wa mambo ya afya na humicha, ametumana shilingi elfu miambili, mpigeni makofi. Ule mulisema muna muhita na kumis. Na penina waziri wangu wa mambo ya East Africa ame tuletea elfu miatano. Yote inakuja shilingi elfu miasaba. Um, kiongozi wetu wa wengi pale bunge. Mwishimiwa Kimani Ishungwa, Rafiki pia wa Askofu, elfu miatano. Mwengi Mutuse, 
na rafiki yake mwingine na namna hiyo ametuletea shilingi milioni moja asante sana Gavana Sisi Limbarire rafiki wetu na rafiki wa askofu 1400 asante sana 50000 kutoka kiongozi wetu seneta wa Embu 1050 bwana Mundiki Mheshimiwa Mbaluka rafiki yangu na nilimpatia kazi ya CAS na ngojea mahali fulani shilingi 1100 MCA Muturi kutoka Embu ametumana 1050 kwa simu ya askofu wa Najuana Bwana Muteti chairman wetu wa Special Economic Zone 1100 Mama Regina Ndambuki shilingi 1200 chairman wetu Zambia mbunge wetu wa Kilome 1200 Na amesema vile ameona maneno hapa ni EBD ataongeza ingine 1300 ijaye 500 Pigeni makofi jameni Huyu ni mfanyikazi wangu daktari mempatia kazi pale Kemsa shilingi elfu mia moja Caleb mbunge wetu wa Machakos Town elfu mia moja Kawaya huyu ni mbunge wa Mwala na, sec na organizing secretary wa chama ya UDA elfu mia mbili Hata yeye amesema vile mambo na aliongea maneno mingi Sasa <laughs> amesema ile airtime alichukua ataongeza mia tatu ijaye mia tano Huyu mama wetu aliongea nafasi mfupi sana. Mama Filomena Mwilu shilingi 1500. Huyu Caroline ananifanyia kazi pale kwa Judicial Service Commission Zilani shilingi 1100. Director wetu wa Kemri asante sana shilingi 1500. Senator wetu wa Makueni Seneta um, Seneta Mumo Maanzo shilingi 1100 Mama wetu mjumbe wetu wa hapa shilingi 1100 Asante sana mheshimiwa Na Rose Museo ametumana pia 1100 Asante kwa simu Bari mama Mama wetu wa county wa kutoka Machakos Asante sana Elfu mia moja. Thank you. Huyu mbunge wetu wa Kimilu, eh mbunge wetu wa Kaiti, bwana Kimilu, elfu mia moja. Eh. Aya Jessica pia amemtuma Jessica Mbalu mbunge wetu wa eh, Kibwezi East ametumana elfu mia moja. Asante. Angela director wetu pale KICC elfu hamsini. Mjumbe wetu wa Kangundo shilingi 1100. Asante sana mheshimiwa. Chairman Bangula wa Kewi 1100. Anastasia kutoka kule Masinga Yata shilingi 1050. Huyu ni PS wangu wa mambo ya pale eh, performance contract Elfu Veronica Nduva PS shilingi elfu miaine PS Mweke ambaye ni PS wangu wa mambo ya eh, livestock shilingi elfu miamoja na Terry Mbaika ambaye ni PS wetu wa devolution na anatoka hapa makueni elfu miatano former governor wetu professor um kibwana kibwana 1100 thank you so anyway, much professor managing director wetu wa Kenya Railways shilingi 1200 Charles Mwasia huyu kijana anafanya kazi pale national irrigation mempatia hiyo kazi juzi 1100 engineer maluki ni chairman wetu National Irrigation shilingi 1500 50000 50000 50000 50000 50000 50000 50000 50000 50000 50000 50000 50000 50000 50000 50000 50000 50000 50000 50000 50000 50000 50000 50000 50000 50000 50000 50000 50000 50000 
50,000 kutoka David Masika. Asante sana. Uh, county executive wa Makueni pamoja na first lady wame deposit shilingi milioni moja. Pitia governor na watu yake. Asante. Speaker wetu shilingi elfu mia moja. Na MCS wetu wote wamekusanya shilingi nusu milioni pamoja na ya huyu leader wao speaker inakuwa 600,000 wapigie makofi. Thank you very much. Mimi naona si mbaya tumengangana. Bisho walikuwa wametutisha sana. Eh? Lakini si mbaya. Catholic MP Scocas shilingi 1100 mia moja na ishirini. Sante. Habari mam? Very good. Aya. Eh? Eh? O Tarua Mabati. Director. Steven Zuke. Elfu mia moja. Patrick Mbao. Alikuwa mamomba kiti ya senator. Elfu mia moja. Sante sana. Basi. Napikiri mamaliza. Basi ya santeni sana. Mungu wabariki. Thank you. Asante. Narudisha nafasi hii sasa kwa askofu mwenyeji askofu wa jimbo hili la wote. Kwa maneno ya kumalizia ili tuweze kupokea baraka ya mwisho baada ya hayo yote. Asanteni sana kwa yote baba askofu karibu labda una ujumbe kabla ya kufunga. Mungu ni mwema na kila wakati mimi sikia leo sina maneno. Neno langu tu moja ni asante sana. Mmeona vile tumeshikiliwa na maaskofu, vile tumeshikiliwa na wageni wetu na saraisi na viongozi wote na wakristo wote wa jimbo letu la wote. Yangu ni kusema mbalikiwe wanakuwa ya sisi twembe kaimbo kawe kale kanasema mbaliki we kwa nguvu kwaya mbaliki we mbaliki we mbaliki we tumesema asante ni kweli hiyo operation ya askofu kasioka kutoka kwa monastery sasa naona tumepiga hatua na tunasema asante sana mheshimiwa rais kwa sababu i give you an invitation and you have honored that invitation kwa maskofu wetu wala wako hapa asante sana asa askofu norman kingo die msasi wetu na ameendelea kutushikiria askofu joseph batia rafiki yangu kutoka kule eh, Nyaururu na muona hata commission yake vile imetushikiria na wale wengine is eminence and is uh, grace na maskofu wale wengine walitumana. Basi naomba sasa tusimame hatuna mambo mengine yote. Nitawaomba Bishop Norman Kingotu uongoze kwa ombi la mwisho na kutubariki pia. Tuombe kwa jina la baba na mwana na la roho mtakatifu Mungu mwenyezi tunakushukuru kwa kutupatia hii jimbo mpya jimbo la wote ambalo itatusaidia katika uenezaji wa injili na kuomba utubariki kwa hiyo kazi na kuomba ufungue njia zote ili tuweze kuwatumikia watu wa eneo hili na kushukuru pia kwa rais wetu kuitikia mwaliko wetu kuja ili atusaidie katika arambe hii bariki na wabariki wote waliotuchangia kwa ukarimu 
wewe unajua endelea kutubariki bariki wa Kristo wetu ili waendelee kushikilia imani pia Mungu tunakurushia shukurani kwa zawadi tuliokuomba zawadi ya mvua zawadi ya kumaliza njaa nasema asante endelea kutuangalia na macho ya huruma ili yote tunayofanya tuyafanye tukiwa tuna chakula na tuna heshima ibariki nji yetu tujalie umoja tunaohitaji ili tuwe na mahali pa heshima tunaomba yote kwa njia ya Kristo bwana wetu Bwana awe nanyi na Mungu Mwenyezi atubariki Baba na Mwana na Roho Mtakatifu. Nendeni na amani ya Kristu, misa yetu na rambi yetu imekwisha. Este mes quiero contarles una historia que es un reflejo de la iglesia de hoy. Es la historia de un testimonio de fe poco conocido. Visitando un campo de refugiados en Lesbo, un hombre me dijo, Padre, yo soy musulmán. Mi mujer era cristiana. Llegaron los terroristas a nuestro país, nos miraron y nos preguntaron nuestra religión. Vieron a mi mujer con el crucifijo y le dijeron que lo tirara al suelo. Ella no lo hizo y la degollaron delante de mí. Histórico. Y sé que él no tenía rencor. Se centraba en el ejemplo de amor de su mujer. Un amor a Cristo que la llevó a aceptar y ser leal hasta la muerte. Hermanos, hermanas, siempre habrá mártires entre nosotros. Es la señal 
de que vamos por el camino correcto. Una persona que sabe me decía que hay más mártires hoy que al inicio del cristianismo. El coraje de los mártires, el testimonio de los mártires es una bendición para todos. Oremos para que quienes en diversas partes del mundo arriesgan su vida por el Evangelio, contagien a la Iglesia su valentía, su impulso misionero. Y abiertos a la gracia del martirio. Na tukiebrez ETV ya Kapchin, tutaweza kufikia watu wengi huko na wataweza kumfahamu Kristu na injili itaweza kuenea. Mara nyingi wakipeperusha ujumbe wao, huwa kuna namba hapo chini pia wameandika. Hiyo namba, tuma chochote kile uko nacho, hautumi mtu, unatuma ili kazi ya mungu ifikie wale wengine ambapo hawajaweza kumjua Kristu. Kwa mfano wakati wa corona, wametusaidia sana. Saa hii mahali naishi naishi kwa muda mfupi niko voi mahali masisa wetu wakizeeka wanaishi na kila Jumapili hata tumeenda misa tumemaliza misa saa ine hivi Jumapili unasikia tuwekee kapchini TV tuwekee tunataka kuona leo wanasoma misa wapi kwa hivyo katika hiyo hali wanaweza pia kwa mafundisho mahubiri yenye yana, yanapeperushwa hapo inaendelea pia kuwajenga kiroho Kwa hivyo wakati tunachangia ni kwa ajili ya uenezaji wa injili kwa hivyo na walika wote pia tuwaweze kwa, kwa support ili mahali atuwezi tukafika kwa mgu wao watasaidia kumfikia kristo mahali walipo. Asante sana, Kapchin, asante ni sana. You are watching Capuchin TV. For any complaints, comments, or compliments on our programming, you can either write to us on info at capuchintv.co.ke or you can call us directly on 0717-424-866. Your complaint shall be addressed within seven days. Remember, to keep a copy of your communication with us. Keep watching Capuchin TV, your Catholic identity. Ball with the best in the NBA. Take a date with Cristiano Ronaldo and Golo Kante as the Saudi Pro League return. Excitement. Boom. Goals and millions of emotions. Who will be the ultimate Bundesliga champion? Absolutely unbelievable. Warm yourself up for more sports, more action, and more fan celebration. On Star Times. On, on, on Star Times. Stream and catch up on your favorite games. Download the Star Times on app now. Star Times. Enjoy digital life. Welcome to Tangaza University College, a multicultural community of holistic formation rooted in gospel values. Our academic programs include postgraduate, undergraduate degrees, diplomas, and certificate courses. At Tangaza University College, we pride ourselves as the leading college in inclusivity with all our learning facilities attuned to accommodate students with special needs. Delight in an ambient environment.
professional lecturers and world-class learning facilities, including a spacious, well-equipped library, a research center, science laboratories, and a multimedia studio. Our full-time and part-time intakes are open in January, May, and August every year. We also offer holiday-based programs in April, August, and December. For more information about our courses and enrollment procedure, visit us along Langata South Road in Karen, Nairobi, or visit our website at www.tangaza.ac.ke. For remote inquiries, send an email to inquiries at tangaza.ac.ke or call us on 0722-204-724. Or zero seven three three six eight five zero five nine. Enroll now for our competitive PhD, Masters, Bachelors, Diplomas, and Certificate courses. Tangaza University College, teaching minds, touching hearts, and transforming lives. Tolea muhanga kwa kuwawezesha wa Kenya kupata fedha kwa urahisi ili kujenga rasilimali na kujiendeleza. Maisha ya jamii yamebadilika na kuimarika. Msingi wa jamii ni utulivu wa familia iliyoimarika. Ukiwa na mradi unayohitaji kuimarishwa, tuna utu. Karibu zungumze nasi. Caritas Microfinance Bank. Imarika, imarika we. Nini Cottage Mission Hospital is a medical center of choice. The hospital offers 24-hour profound and holistic outpatient and inpatient services. We are equipped with modern medical facilities. Our services are patient-centered, delivered by friendly and compassionate staff. We are a NHIF accredited and we also accept covers from major insurance providers and schemes. We also have MediClaim Cover, which covers AON for the teachers and the CIC for both Kenya Prison Police Service and the National Police Service. Our ambulance services are available round the clock. Visit Kiminini Cottage Mission Hospital today. We are strategically located at Kiminini Town of Kitale Webuye Highway. For more information, contact us on 0723. 644 or email us on kiminini hospital at yahoo.co.uk or visit our website at www.kimininicottagehospital.com. Kiminini Cottage Mission Hospital. We treat God Heals. Mm -hmm. 